And we're live. Hello, everybody. Imagine having a cup of tea and then Grandpa. Imagine being on time for your own schedule. <laughs> it's okay. Usually we're on time. Skinner, how are you doing? What's for dinner today? Happy Tuesday. This cup of tea. <laughs> Black tea. For me, a fruity tea at the moment. I drank way too much black tea today. I drank way too much coffee today. Yeah, because you made a pot of tea and then made me drink all of it. Tifa is holding air. Oh, yeah. You have to hold it. Oh, right shit. <laughs> the beauty of a green screen. Mm. Didn't even realize, but... Should make it so that then all the water falls out. But you should be able to see the adorable giraffe and owl thing on this <laughs> I definitely got the bigger cup, or the better cup. Bigger, I got the bigger no, one, you better. got the better one right now. Don't actually know what I'm <laughs> eating, my auntie came off and I think it's curry. Oh uh, well, okay. as long as it's tasty. Why not? Eh. No pizza hut today? I am getting Pizza Hut this weekend and I'm yes. really looking forward to it. We're gonna have Pizza Hut all of the weekend, which will be really bad for our arteries. <laughs> That's okay. Get one big pizza and then we have enough for Saturday and Sunday. Yes. <laughs> hey Evie. Yeah, who cares about arteries if you can have pizza? That's what alcohol is for, to Take. get the grease out of your arteries. Nah. I like my arteries. Hold on, one pizza? Yeah, big one. Yeah, as in he orders a big pizza, I order a big pizza and then we eat it the next day. As Three. in yeah. half half. I have one large pizza sitting. <laughs> I would eat the whole thing, but he doesn't let me. It's not that I can't. <laughs> um, my record is, if you have ever been to pizza, uh, two and a half? I think so, yeah, at the all you can eat. Two and a half of the uh, big ones. I think you were in pure pain for two days. <laughs> I think I easily <laughs> consumed 10,000 calories that night. Uh, good luck with setting much. OBS for me. For the luck for me. Uh, yeah, I think I ate a good, I would think eight to 10,000 calories that day. I mean, Probably. that meal, sorry. It was worth it though. Yeah, but I that's why that I tried much, to not do that anymore. Hmm. Because uh, my stomach didn't feel good for a while after that. Calories good, food cramps bad. <laughs> yes. Yes, and I'm pretty sure I shaved off at least 10 years off of my life through the grease that is probably still floating around in there somewhere. Just a feeling. And besides, you also get a bit more movement than we do. Yes, that's true. Good thing is though, starting September, we're, or I'm moving to a different building, like on the other side of the city. With Tifa work. means for work. That's what I just said, for work at the end of the sentence. You want to start with that. And they have a swimming pool next to it. So I think I'm gonna get a... Abo. What's Abo in? Subscription. A subscription and just swim before work. Get some scorpion sauce, it'll add years to your counter if it doesn't kill you. It will kill me. <laughs> so this light needs to be tilted. You want your light? Yes. How about I turn on those so that we're less orange again? How about you don't because my skin is... Because now we look like Oompa Loompas. Yeah, but that's fine. <laughs> also, balancing the light off of my forehead. Which probably tomorrow or on our Friday stream, the light should be different, hopefully better. Hopefully. Also, I don't think so. If we ask your dad to help us with replacing that light, I'll yes. have to share my pizza and I'm not going to. I think he'll drop by during the week, not on the weekend. When? I don't know. When do we have time during the week? I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. <laughs> no. Yeah, but you're a gym person and I really hate the gym. If anything, I like to swim, I guess. 
<laughs> fine ones I've sang. I had a uh, friend in elementary school that could not swim, but he could dive. Like the moment his head was underwater, he swam like a fish. But uh, as long as he was able to breathe, he just couldn't do it. But you swim the same. I know, that's what we told him to. <laughs> Fine. We all told him the same thing. <laughs> no, I think swimming would be the only type of movement I could get. Because I ain't doing gyms. I hate gyms. I just hate exercise. That is true. But swimming I can survive. The only thing that is really annoying about swimming is the changing and dragging everything along. You mean the everything? Yeah. Exercise is gross. Yes, I fully agree with you. But I do need to start losing some weight at some point because it's not good for my knees. So She has bad knees. At some point I won't have a choice and I'm already hoping that once we go back to work it will already work because I run around a lot at work usually and now I'm missing all of that movement. I need my gym to reopen. I just need a magic pill that will make me all fit and stuff without having to move a finger. Samurai, hey, how are you doing? Also, how How's your Samurai? Tuesday? Life is gross. Well, it depends. <laughs> Life guess, is gross. There's a lot it of good things. Be. It can be. <laughs> I still haven't gotten around to change our sound. But I have been very happy with my indoor life. Maybe a bit too happy. I like the indoor life. The thing is, uh, unless I force you to, or these nice people do, uh, you don't move. <laughs> like, I move I'm, like from the couch to the kitchen. I'm pretty sure if it was too humid in here, uh, you would start to grow moss <laughs> with how little you move. There is a good chance. Like, I'm a lazy person, but <laughs> even after a weekend of just sitting here playing video games all day, eventually I will get up and go, I need to move. Even if just to stretch my legs for five minutes, she I doesn't. I don't have that. <laughs> I can sit down for days. She doesn't. Our views aren't mutually exclusive. That's true. Uh, That's true. Are you ready for some Danganronpa? Yeah, but first, Talking about things that are mutually exclusive. Oh yeah. We got three new emotes. <laughs> and thanks to all of you who voted on Discord, we have changed them around. So see what you can yeah. use now. We somehow unlocked the option to auto upload emotes so we don't have to wait for them to be reviewed anymore, because, which is awesome, by the way. Because we have been affiliates for six months without doing stuff that Twitch doesn't like. Oh, so, fair enough. Shockingly. So we can also. Thank you. Yay, so we can also swap them around a bit more. Yes. Now it's just a matter of clicking. Uh, that is not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Like, I didn't know something could be so easy and nice until I saw that option. Well, we've had it for a while. It's just that the only requirement we didn't uh, fulfill yet was that we hadn't been affiliates for six months. And that mm. just happened. So. Oh, wait. I shouldn't put my... Uh. Before you keep hurting yourself on my mic again. I shall try not to. Oh, are you doing unassisted ones? I was trying, yeah. <laughs> and failed. Wait, Two, my mic fell out. Three, four, five, six. That is so much harder. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. God, I have no condition. Fourteen. 15. Uh, I can't do an unassisted one. Let me try. Here, Skinner, this is, this is for you. The one Just thing I wanted you. to try was those leveled push ups. Just to Skinner prove to you that believing uh, alone doesn't work. Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> That's more pathetic than mine was. And now, with. See? At least I get up a bit. Oh my god. You even did a whole one without tucking your feet under the couch, right? 
Hmm? You even did a whole one, no? I did all 10 without. Wow. You bitch, a whole one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Looked like one to me. <laughs> Ain't that bad. Your feet are slipping, that's why. Yeah, but my feet are not heavier than the top of my body. Yeah, we have heavy heads. That must be it. That's not the heads. <laughs> it's for pizza. I didn't even have pizza. Do you know how long it's been since I had pizza? Too long. Exactly. It's been too long. Now. Uh, how about some Danganronpa? Yes, I am ready. We are at... I was gonna go with five minutes. Five minutes? Oh, for how long it's been since you had pizza. <laughs> I wish. We might look that way, especially when you can see our full body on the other cam, but uh, <laughs> surprisingly no. Surprisingly, no. We eat su actually very little pizza lately. Yeah, like we usually get like those pizzas from the Aldi, which are quite good supermarket in the area, but it's like a 10 minute walk to get there. Our UK viewers might know them. Yeah. I don't but... think there's Aldi in the US. Mm, that I don't know. But there's another supermarket like right around the corner, so we always go there. So we don't really get pizza that often. I forgot to set something up. And Pizza Hut is like a 40 minute one-way travel? Yeah. Aldi is in the US! Is it? Mm. Thank you very we much. We only go there for the pizza. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Hi, no, Andrew. we buy quite a lot of stuff there because it simply is better than from the other places near us. But we have four yeah, cheese but... pizza. Mwah. But I only go there for the pizza and then maybe, maybe buy other stuff. Like, I wouldn't go there for any other product. The hummus is pretty good. The hummus is good, that's true. There's more oil in it than most other brands here, but it is good. Grease and super equals cheap. tasty, that's the yes. problem. Pretty sure I saw one in Los Angeles too. Fuck hummus. Skinner? Uh, hummus is tasty, it really depends on the type disagree. though. There are some really good ones. No! Yes! No, yes, what? The texture is a big nope. I'm sorry you've only had shitty hummus in your life. The texture is a big nope. It's smooth. What kind of texture does your hummus have? I don't know what kind of hummus they make in the UK, but it's bitty. The fuck does bitty mean? It has like pieces in it. Not necessarily. I would say it's like grainy. Oh. What kind of hummus are you people eating? Yeah, see. Okay, uh, no, that's, that's not. No, the stuff hummus I'm is supposed about. to be really smooth. Or not, depending on your preference, but yeah, the brands but... over here are smooth. I go for it's supposed to be smooth. I've had hummus from legit Greek motherfuckers. Well, tell them they're doing it wrong. Tell them to blend it longer. <laughs> why, why do you have your foot there? Yeah, why are your feet so big? Yeah, why are you so big? Because of pizza. Oh shit, I just saw the Leon spoiler that Evie mentioned. The Leon spoiler? Yeah. Leon is dead. Yes, exactly. That is being spoiled in the intro. Oh. oh. Why did I put that in the intro? I don't know. So oh, I'll be it's... eating some fake ass hummus that feels better? Yeah, delicious. <laughs> I have never been to a Greek place that had bitty hummus. hummus. Yeah, same. Like, no never have food. I ever. Can confirm, never have I. Dang and run, pa. Yes. There we go. Chapter 5. Also, you know what really... Imagine being in Chapter 5. I mean, this is nitpicking, but you know what really fucks me up about this game and streaming it? What? That at least for the intro screen, this one, uh, on the left and right side, there is a thin, thin sliver black bar. And I always keep thinking that I messed up the layout, but... Chapter 5. 
we are at the epilogue of chapter yes. four. So, yes, we will see chapter five today. Imagine ever being so far. Unless the epilogue of chapter four is like six hours, then no. Yeah, we were at the part where our beloved AI got destroyed by yeah. Monokuma. Then we went to our bedroom. And there the conversation just kept going about something and then we decided to save and... Why have y'all got so <laughs> many damn save files? Because after every stream we save. Yeah, but we save in different slots. I don't know why. Yes. Later we can look back and see how many save files we got. Yes. Today will be the 19th time we've started playing this game. Yes. It's a stream 19. Basically. And Who thought it would 69. take this long? <laughs> Who thought it would take this long? <laughs> that shit, Cray. Look at this man always overwriting the same save file. Do you know we when got, I stopped doing that? We got the space. That? Do you know what game made me stop writing over the same save file every damn time? Fucking Skyrim. <laughs> Fuck that game. Fuck you Bethesda for not being able to write fucking games that fucking work. No. Oh yeah, wait, shit. The doorbell went and who was it that came in? We're gonna Kyoko. find out now, but Kyoko. Kyoko suddenly stood above us in a totally non-creepy way. Breathing yep. down our necks. <laughs> Small True. indie company. No, no, no. We were yeah. sleeping and then Kyoko went like all Zelda on us and went like, Makoto. Yeah, she was standing there waking listen. us up. Listen. Yes. Yeah, and then she was standing there in our room at night like a person yes. that is sneaking around. That's it. It's fine when the game defaults to the most recent save, but you just scroll all the way down now I'm having two saves at most. See, this is the type of workout that I'm fully getting behind. Scrolling down. <laughs> <laughs> also, Skyrim hella easy though. Yes, it is easy, but if the game decides to fuck up your save file, you'll be very happy if you have another one to fall back to. Yeah, which we didn't. Yes, which we both had to learn the hard way. So. Uh, maybe one day we'll play Skyrim again. 100% Skyrim stream? Complete everything? I don't really know how some people do that and only stream one game. Make your respect, but I can't do that. Just get good and sit in your safe won't fuck up. <laughs> Aren't you legally obligated to tell us if you work for Bethesda? <laughs> so that sounds what Todd Howard would say. Should we get Hawkett? Yeah, we should. <laughs> Two week long stream. I think we could beat Skyrim faster than we can do Danganronpa. I think for the first time playing through the main mm, like, yeah. story of Skyrim took me less time than it has taken us to play Danganronpa so far. Well, I guess we could do that, but no. Are you nope. ready, Tifa? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so Kyoko is in our room. Also, first of all, <laughs> hello DK. Hey DK. Uh, since I know you are sub 2, you might want to check out your emotes. We have three new ones. Two of which can be used in combination for comedic effects. I already forgot what we put in all of the slots actually. Wow. Let's go, has so many exploits you don't even need cheats. Yes. That is uh, very true. Unless the game decides to break on you. <laughs> also, you missed a death. We are now at the beginning, basically, yes. of chapter 5. So, a quick recap for DK. Don't know if you heard us say it earlier. Jack needed cheats anyway. Uh, no, first time I played through Skyrim was legitimately. To be honest, I love the cheat where you can carry everything because I'm someone that goes harvest, take. That Harvest. cheat is god mode. Is that on god mode? TGM, yeah. Oh, I thought Total there was also one to just get unlimited thingy. No. That's all I remember. Take. It's Harvest. It's because you're a fucking kleptomaniac. <laughs> I kept a five minutes, I'm too heavy. DK, you missed <laughs> us learning about Sakura's suicide. Uh, she killed herself, unfortunately. And we found out we also... Too many survived. feels. And... Someone was punished and it was Alter Ego who got turned into a handy little Monokuma ball. Yeah, Alter Ego is now scrap metal. Yes. 
Valorant is working on Rainbow's OBS. Nice. Oh, and welcome awesome. back, Foley. Hope it's... That's tonight, right? Yeah, Fabulous is streaming tonight. Is it tonight? Yeah, it's tonight. In that case... Yeah, but it was a program that had feelings. I want to say that's the right username. Shit, how do you spell fabulous? I should know this. Hmm? Is it with OU? OU, yeah. Yes. Fabulous is gonna stream again later today. Uh, he hasn't been streaming for a while, so you might want to check it out later. Unfortunately, we will be in bed already because it's like... It's like around 2 a.m. for us. So it's like... Uh, seven hours from now? Six? Six-ish hours? You can mm -hmm. check the details on Discord, but... No, it's like... Yeah, I don't know, six hours, I think. It's later right. tonight. Jack is extremely anti-AI. Yes, I'm biased. That's and I'm true. starting to be as well, because fuck that shit. And I hope my boss is listening. How about we start the game? Yes, I'm ready. <clears throat> what are you doing here? I'm here to wake you up. Wait one second. AI is great. I don't disagree with that, but I'm saying a lot of people have misconceptions and I have a hard time feeling emotionally attached to an AI. Kelly, have a kick-ass day at work. Thanks for dropping by. What she said, plus I'm hoping the side effects of the Dean Boozled is slowly wearing <laughs> off if it hasn't worn off yet. I haven't seen Ranger today yet, so I hope you didn't gas him. Hmm. <laughs> I'm dehydrated because I was trapped by a cat. Just got up finally. <laughs> Groundhog, hello. Cheers. Enjoy your water. Good choice, good choice. I will join you with a cup of tea. I already finished my tea. Of course you did. And <laughs> hello. <laughs> Have you ever met a bottom-up AI? I... What exactly is a bottom-up AI? As in I one am that not sure. Wrote itself? Like semi-sentient? Fully sentient? You do have AI that can write themselves. That's or true. can create themselves. Google has a AI mother. That yes, basically that poops new... out AI it spawns babies. spawns more AIs, yes. That's what I'm saying. Nothing quite like making a self-learning AI that can write code, including rewriting its own. Oh my god, you don't know? Jeez. No. <laughs> I don't. DK, if you ever move to Germany, please come work at our place and take care of that shit. Let me click on that. Top down AI <laughs> versus bottom up. <laughs> Researchers in bottom up AI or connectionism take an opposite approach and simulate networks of artificial neurons that are similar to the neurons in the human brain. <laughs> yeah, no, the stuff I get to deal with for work is more top down. Yeah. Let me verify that with Google. <laughs> also, the beans are affecting him more than me. Makes sense because he also had a whole lot more. <laughs> I can smell the lingering beans everywhere I go. <laughs> yeah, they stink. Also, Groundhog, enjoy your water again. Hope you're less dehydrated by now. <laughs> Double water. Nice. This is proof you haven't watched enough Sword Art Online. I'm sorry, I'm too busy streaming Danganronpa. <laughs> uh, and for cats, still Groundhog's warm spot. But that's okay because it's mm. a cat. Just take it back and put it on your lap. Absorb yes. the warmth. I've read Sword Art Online and know things about the AI the AI specialist doesn't <laughs> know. True. You should actually become an AI specialist. They no, earn like four times as much. No, I shouldn't. I will let you know when I'm willing to sell my soul. <laughs> Talking about selling our souls, dang and romper. Yes, I already said this actually. 
Also, how did she get into our room again? I have a feeling she will tell us. Okay. Oh, I see. Wait, but my door... <laughs> yeah, okay, there we are. <laughs> Let's sell my soul for five bucks in the house. Uh, I think I would sell my soul for a tiny bit more than five bucks. Don't sell yourself on the value. Actually, wait, in a house. It depends on the house. Yes. Like, you are we talking a about a box house or more like a villa kind of house? And now the cat wants to play. Groundhog, go play with your cat. Can you not? <laughs> I'm playing with the cat. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying. It was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. Glad we couldn't wait for the 35 seconds it would find uh, it would take for us to find that out. <laughs> I'll sell for $69 in beans. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Like for $69, I'll sell your soul. I'll sell your hair. Hair, yes, soul no. We're gonna do a community goal where I cut off your hair? No. <laughs> Could be fun. Always. And you don't have to overreact like that every time you're surprised. What time is it? Correct. Three o'clock. In the morning, of course. It's 3 a.m.? Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? <laughs> okay, sure. Don't tell me there's another murder already. <laughs> Point redeem, head shave. <laughs> Point redeem, head shave when? Never. Also, yes, Groundhog. Uh, we have three new emotes and in our Discord we ask people uh, which ones they want where. So we jumble them around a bit, uh, and now you have some new ones to play with. <laughs> what? Psst, 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 psst. Just joined the chat. I'm just saying. I ordered five new hot sauces. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Choice. I never actually just had spoons of hot sauce. Leave the beans to the dumb people like us. <laughs> it's the smarter choice. I think I'll do better with beans. I cannot do hot sauce. My head will explode and I will throw up. I'd be willing to try, but... Beans and sauce, yes. Now I know what to expect. Yes, exactly! You should hear the 3 a.m. music in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's really funny. Isn't it like super chill, the night music? Is there a different song at 3 a.m.? It's been too long since I played Animal Crossing. Hot sauce death coming back Wednesday. <laughs> really, that's too long. <laughs> Skinner, it has been a privilege, an honor, and an utmost pleasure knowing you. And I will miss you. Yeah. We'll try to witness your death. Yeah. I will try to work on my infidel <laughs> while you're gone. Infidel. It, it's so late. What, what happened? I have a favor to ask. A favor? What's your favor? So... Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered. <laughs> <laughs> the data sensor on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Why are we whispering that anyway? Because they were whispering. It's for immersion. Yeah, purposes. I mean, why are they whispering it? It's not like, oh no, Monokuma can't hear because we're gonna walk there and he can see us go there. Reasons? Bad children? Okay, sure. Let's pretend. Without another word, she was gone. What the... Her words reverberated through my half-dazed head. I want you to say that word. Reverberated? Wow. <laughs> the data center? But I thought it was locked. I'll message you all my passwords before stream. 
Please do. <laughs> I'll take Please good do. care of all your waifus. Mega recommended the sauce with pepper X, hottest in the world. I thought the hottest one was ghost pepper. Or oh, was that years ago? I'm quite sure by now there's probably worse ones out there. For the most part, but 3am is like the game is making fun of you for being up so late. It's the clown hour. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I'm just gonna Batman. watch that on YouTube because I don't think I'll play it 3 really. <laughs> Still not as great as 3 in the original GameCube version, which is a heckin' bop. Oh. Nice. Hot, hot, hot sauce competition between Ranger and Skinner. Tekken each to have one sauce dip. R.I.P. Ranger. I think they'll... Actually, Skinner, how often have you lost last time playing? Wasn't it like zero against 37? Or was it against Adam if I saw that correctly in Discord? No, I think it's gonna lost a couple times, but not that many. <laughs> I don't think not enough to die from Pepper. Let's go to the fourth floor. Ghost Pepper is the yeah, hottest. Let me help Pepper you. X a crossbreed from Reaper and Ghost, I think. Leafy area, yes. Also now Monokuma totally cannot see on camera that we're moving to the data center, but Exactly, then that's why I'm saying, why were we whispering? See, 37 wins, Ben had 6 and Adam had 0. Yeah, but how often did you lose? Because when you lose, you have to do the hot sauce. Mm. I don't know, it was 1am when I researched. <laughs> get some sleep. Sleep off the beans. Just get all of the hot sauce. All that. Have Maybe. shots. Give me a sign when you're ready to continue. Totally subtle. I made my way into the after hour school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. As you do. As we do. Eventually I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She said she... Blah, blah, blah. That's weird. She said she'd meet me. Is she maybe inside already? I put my hand to the door and with a certain amount of force... Rattle, rattle. It didn't open. I tried again, but... Rattle, rattle. It must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor. What's this? Oh, what are you doing up, mister? And black screen. Suck. <laughs> Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... I can see that, you dolt. Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself. It looked like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you gonna try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? No, no nothing like that. It's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know. Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Just a second. Why are you out here making a racket? K Kyoko? You too? You guys? Whatever, the two of you just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. Why would he get flustered when Kyoko showed up? It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Kick ass, Kelly. Much success at work. I was gonna say good luck, but professionals don't need luck. I'm guessing she okay. didn't expect Monokuma to show up or the door to be locked. Or it was meant to make Monokuma come out to confirm something. That could also be it. Yeah, yeah, go on. Get out of here. Shoo, shoo. Our YAGPDB oh. worked when y'all went live. <laughs> yeah, Your was... what, mate? <laughs> the live ball thingy, this thing. Oh. 
They had this Autobot it's set up. Bot? Yeah, it's the bot. Okay, fair enough. It worked! It seems very random though, like for who it does and for who it doesn't. But I don't know that bot. Did you already read your line? Yes, I did. Even if the... Shoo! Shoo! Very good. Yet another general purpose Discord bot. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, that makes sense, it. actually. Yep. yep. Also, Skinner loses not often. I was once on a 16 wins. I was on a 16 win streak at one point. <laughs> it's not stuff you will see ever happening on this stream. Just wait until we play Smash Brothers again. <laughs> so we left and went back to our rooms. And then. Goodbye. Well, hold on. Listen, what was all that about just now? She woke me up, made me go to the data center, which just happened to be locked, and then she shows up late and we leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all of that? Don't worry about it. I saw why we perfectly dressed. Because we sleep like this. Ranger is alive! Ranger, welcome back. <laughs> Hope the beans are slowly subsiding in your body. <laughs> yeah. Also, it reminds me that the new story of Seasons game is boot. What's that? I guess that's a bad thing. New character that know. dropped this morning, so we're playing throughout the week. Oh, nice. Harvest Moon. Oh. Yeah, but we were talking about the poot. Story of Seasons is what Harvest Moon became, no? I had to change the name because of some legal issues or something? Also, the emote is still there, Ranger. It's just in a different slot. Oh, wait, it's gone for you, I believe, because you yes. had it unlocked. It's not in tier bits. one anymore. No, oh. it was as the bit one. Pioneers of Olive Town. Now I get it. Mm. I thought was, this was some sort of acronym that the cool kids use nowadays to express that something is great <laughs> or not great. Thank I don't much. think they would come with poot. Why not? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm just saying. You're a poot. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> I figured that would be the end of a conversation, just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sure. And then that was over. Why is she so random? <laughs> Enjoy dang and your one, huh? <laughs> no, you. Remember poop, people order our patties. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that one, no. <laughs> Gonna watch Justice League again. <laughs> well, that's four hours, so enjoy. <laughs> it's gonna set up a green screen, but I think I'll work on that tomorrow. Gonna relax with some Jack. Nice. I was gonna say no relaxing with me. Fine. Fine. I'm just saying no you. You're just an afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, that's from Spongebob. Okay. Oh, I don't remember that episode. Me neither. It's literally the first episode. <laughs> but I most yeah, certainly then don't remember it. I definitely don't remember it, yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. Oh, are we finally gonna leave some details? But as I turn to leave. Mukuro Ikusaba. Have we heard that name before? We have not. Joker was right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. The 16th studio, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Nani? Watch out for him. Okay, so why is there a hidden student in this school when all of them have to be at the class trials and whatnot. How does this ultimate despair student get out of it? Because Monokuma makes up the rules. 
Also, wait, shit. We should have seen the people in that thing. <laughs> Why are you questioning a game? Because I can. <laughs> altar lump. Wow. What's an altar lump? Alter ego made into a ball. Oh, yeah, we actually got it. There, saved. Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Hmm. I am confusion. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before I would be faced with another murder. Time skip? What? Wait, there's a time skip? Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. Also in the stomach. Oh, yeah. all stomach ribs. 100 mile dash, pain of a junk food junkie. Which one of these people is into junk food? Oh, hero is. Uh, got to work from home because we had Morgan's one year photo shoot. Nice. Oh, nice. How did you enjoy war walking? <laughs> working from home. His feet are made for walking. Because yeah. that's just what they do. D&D tonight? Yee, game night. <laughs> the meme is here at last. Okay. Shit, I skipped the text. Uh, in the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning, something. Wait, so now we went back again? Yeah, that was a preview of what's going to happen in three days. Now we play the time until that happens. Okay, they don't usually... Or they haven't done it before, but sure. Correct. Thanks for the Lurk Ranger, have fun with Justice League. Yes. I hope the fourth time you watch it will be just as good as the first time. <laughs> Working from home is tough when the baby likes light up keyboards. A few messages got sent with... <laughs> Very nice. Also, Fodi, I have to say, uh, the bandana works on my no you emote much better than it works on Tofu's. <laughs> yes, it does. Actually, that looks like something you would do. Put a bandana over half your face. <laughs> no, it definitely works pretty good on yours. It fits okay. really well. Where's the game? Yeah. Got it. So, let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Yeah, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well, He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think, anyway. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. Wasn't he the one that was having a nervous breakdown during the last trial because he couldn't figure things out? He got mad at us, yeah, because he didn't know things. He was quite flustered. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. So is his. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Please remain that way. Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. Gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. How about you go back to killing again and stuff? I remember when she was being a serial murdering <laughs> crazy person. Yeah, now she just turned all boring. Not, not killing anyone. Like imagine. Boring is good. She didn't snap back at you. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Okay. It's uh, one way to do that. Sure thing. What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. I don't care. How about that? And you okay with that, Toko? Uh, Jeez, how long is that... How long? How long is that rock you're hiding under? Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is the small talk Bia Queer warned us against. Come on. 
and yet I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. I'm going to begin our search. Stop running your mouth and start moving your legs. No breakfast? No, breakfast is being skipped. Oh my god. Pressured by an obviously irritated Biakuya, we all started our exploration. How about... So where are we even supposed to explore? He didn't say, no? We teleport up and then find the fifth floor. Oh yeah, wait, a new floor unlocked. Why didn't you go straight to the fourth floor, check the data center again? Why would I check the data center? To see if the door is open now. What makes you think that would be the case? Maybe something will happen. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge, must be locked. That came as a shock to me. Hey, you never know. It was worth a try. A lock the fifth floor. Ooh. So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us and it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason it feels unpleasant. Really, it looks pretty nice if you ask me. And this is also the final floor. Mm, yep, yeah, no more staircase. At least as well as we can tell. So let's check out the rooms. Oh man, Sakura would have loved the workout. Nighttime secrets. No more storm storm. He's so oh my god. Really? You read that last? A violin. Nothing new. We got plenty of coins, so you don't need to click everything. Leafy area, yes. And <laughs> despair. Haha, <laughs> catch me if you can. Wait up, I'm gonna punish you. <laughs> Gross. Makoto. Okay. I wouldn't have guessed Makoto. Huh? Does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? Write it down. Is she trying to say something? I think she's almost just a little more and I might get it. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. She just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she gave up. Get a pen, get some paper. Yes. That's what I was thinking too. We're in our classroom, there has to be something. Let's start here. <laughs> Sakura would have loved this. Oh, maybe not because we're still stuck in... Oh. An indoor... Wow. Also, it's cherry blossom season. In Japan, at least. Yeah, it's spring. Hmm? It's spring. Hmm. It's bound to happen. The suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. Looks pretty cool. And we almost have 200 of them. Let's check out the rest of the stuff first. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here. And it's in full bloom. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Excuse me? Do you see Trees this? Trees inside. This is... I love it. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? It's pretty cool if you ask me. Oh, this is for archery. That target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my set. Also, if this is for archery, there's bows here, which means someone's gonna get shot. Do I get a coin? No. What's that thing? That's a target. Ah, sword oh, no. practice. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? Nice. 199. Try to look at the certificates just to see. What, oh no, it's the camera. No, it's Never the mind. Camera. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of super old school public bathhouses. Nothing. The cherry blossoms, aka Sakura. 
Yep. What Kyoko told me yesterday. Too many feels. What the heck did it mean? Is this the third time we're having this? I think we heard the name like six or seven times now. Somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. And how does she know? I'm Kyoko. I'm not oh wait. I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? And that's why it's a meme. Mokuro is Ikusaba, the 16th student <laughs> lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna hear that a whole lot more often. <laughs> it's only been three times so far <laughs> in... 10 minutes? Something like that, 15? I would say. She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kiyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. That's a good question. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything any better than before. <laughs> Mokuro. <laughs> Mokuro Ikusaba, the 16th bang. <laughs> I uh, think we're gonna hear it at least 16 times. I forgot the name of a student, could someone have Wait, other side. Ooh, an open door. Should we go to the other places first? No, go in. Oh. That is one big plant. That's pretty cool. And it's those fly eaters. Those nozzles poking out. Are those for sprinklers? What else would hey, they be? Hey, 200 coins. Those are pretty big. Well, well, what is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? I wonder if we can push the clairvoyance dude in them. If they're this big, maybe they can dissolve a human as well. Evie, it's because you didn't watch out for her. <laughs> watch out! What? That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it, and you're in for some real excitement. Did hm? you just call that flower creepy? Not me, main character Kundit. <laughs> Your hearts are like wah, and the plants are like snap, and your flesh is all like bleh, I'm dead. No? In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I was gonna say. Dishes. Good luck on your dishes. Enjoy. A student at Hope's Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. Gee, I wonder if it's going to be used for a murder. That could be. Well, we have lots of things on this floor now for murder. The ultimate botanist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. Oh, maybe that's where the dead bodies go. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's either that or the incinerator, I guess. Test. They have to go somewhere. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Good thing we're all <laughs> biodegradable. Also, hello, Beth. Beth, how are you Hope doing? Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing well. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, the plant needs to eat Wow, too. I'm saying I hope you're doing great and you're going with... I'm hoping you're doing well. Weak. Just weak. Wow. We aim for greatness here. <laughs> Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Not that I'd know anything about that myself. Also, hello, Mega. Mega. I'm good, love you too. No, you. you. Matter of fact...
There you go. Ah, first. You can't feed altered ego's corpse to it. Can we actually do that? Do we get something for doing that? I mean, it eats everything, so... We do have it. Jelly Yeah. Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Wasn't it DK that was also keeping those plants? I don't recall. Someone had them. Whatever it is, I'd better keep my distance. Yep. Ah, see? I remembered right. How is it you can remember details like this, <laughs> but not the buttons of a game you've been playing for 50 hours? Because those are hard details. And I'm quite sure those buttons keep changing. I'm just saying. Well, it is a big plant. Anything here? No. Oh, there's a little house. Like in a way, I would love to like stay around here in my case, but I would be the stupid one that trips and then gets eaten by the plant. You would fall into that flower. <laughs> yes. Just to be sure, I should take a look in the tool shed. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall, is that a pickaxe? Now I see a lot of murdering weapons. <laughs> Mono Kuru. Okay. It's probably a lawn pun. I'm about to go to the field for another couple hours. Field field? What are you doing in a field? Just sit there and chillax. Sounds like a nice idea for a rage game, one where the buttons for the actions <laughs> randomize every few seconds. Oh, there are some games that have quick time events like that. Fucking pisses me off. I often feel like that happens in every game though. Yeah, but that's your head, not the game. Like I'm always pressing A and all of a sudden it's B. <laughs> There's a lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's actually gonna take care of a lawn? Nice. I could take care of this room. Everything would be dead within the next day. <laughs> there are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. That Aww. would be a cute idea. Look at us decorating. Um, you didn't... Oh. Crazy diamond. Wasn't that the nickname of Mondo's brother? Crazy Diamond? I can't remember. I don't or think was so. was that the name of a gang? Huh? There's something carved into the handle of his pickaxe. Crazy Diamond? I feel like oh. I remember seeing that somewhere. I guess there was something. Haven't left yet. Jojo. Jojo? As in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh. There was also something about that in this game. Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There are so many different kinds to choose from. Nice. I still didn't do the gacha. Remind yes. me to do that today. You did in fact not do that yet. Did we already spoke to him? Nope. How about you do that first? Is this a chicken coop? What? We have chickens. What's a chicken coop doing here? What a dog. I'll be the chicken background sound. Oh, Crazy Diamond is a stand. Yeah, that is also something in-game. Yeah, there was a reference to it and I think it was either Mondo's gang or the nickname of his older brother when he was in a gang. I really don't remember. This place even has chickens, huh? <laughs> Good luck with the dishes. Good luck with the dishes. Good luck with actually doing the dishes instead. They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. It seems safe. <laughs> you can talk to each individual. Let's <laughs> check out every chicken. Can you do that sound? No. It's a chicken. It doesn't have like a <laughs> second form, right? It's a chicken. It's really live, right? Just no mistake. 
it's a chicken. It really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure. It's a chicken. It's not expecting to be fat like humans, is it? Why are we doing this? <laughs> it's a chicken. It's not gonna like lay a bomb, is it? Okay, but well, that was all the chickens. Now that we have become acquainted with the chickens. Step away from the chicken coop. Yes. Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? Yes, they are. There's exactly five of them here. I think there's a reason for that. Five seems important. Exactly. Five, you know the number that comes after four and before six? At least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of a cosmos. I'm at least 30% right. It's a number of power. A refreshing number on par with hand-squeezed all-natural lemonade. Okay, sure. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. Why can't we just let the chickens roam free? Or will the plant eat them? There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? Yeah, and humidity probably. It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. Okay. This will become important later. Every morning, 7.30. Of course, the setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. Okay, so someone's gonna change that. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning. Yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched, so watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. You're never too old for that. Don't let Monokuma make you think of it. Exactly. Running through splurs, blah, blah, blah. sprinklers is great. Also running through splash 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 splash. <laughs> also great. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? Why does he look so mad when he says that? I'm gonna tell everyone! Okay, well... Anyway, how's your water sex life? No. Sounds kinky. I don't think I've seen everything there is to see. Uh, talk me? to the plant. But and I the haven't. sprinklers. I, that's the first thing I did. No, not the sprinklers. I don't was... talk to this dude yet. Yes, the sprinklers were literally the first thing I checked in this room. Then the plant. Hmm. But you didn't talk to him yet. That's what I just... <laughs> Go on, get to it, that's your line. At first I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out I just painted the walls and the ceiling. Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why? Is that bad? Don't you get it? Don't you realize? The true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exteriors, they are always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, they'll put their plan for global human extinction into action. Do we have aluminium hats somewhere here? I'm serious. Let's leave. <laughs> I'd rather go for a balloon fetish when at least you have something to rub against. I'll happily pass on both. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll pass on the balloons at least. Hey, why don't you talk to... Yes, exactly. This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. It's the fact that the ceiling is so much higher. And there's plants. And there's concrete walls. It just looks different. Yeah. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Like the really roots here are tall enough to grow trees in, so... I love the bamboo. Yes. I agree. If I had a house with high wall... Oh! 
Okay. What the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled... It was sour, pungent, impossibly rank. <laughs> Looks like my clothes. <laughs> I'm glad I haven't seen a classroom in like... Almost 15 years, I think. Haven't seen a classroom 13 in years. 13 years and not missing it one bit. Nope. Very happy without. It smells awful, doesn't it? It it's it must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying it's the smell of death, their flesh and fat and blood? There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. But the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... Could this have to do with the tragedy? We'll what? My fault? Again? Stop trying to blame everything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this would never have happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Yep, let me give you an itty bitty eeky squeaky little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. That's not a hint. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs in those mean old RPGs. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> so it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. I would say the tragedy. Give me the water, please. What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all of this? So, where do we start? Everywhere. Okay, I'm guessing it could be and one of the students went completely berserk and killed all of his people. Well, I guess start with the big pool of rotten blood. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? It's decoration. Of course. I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. Also, wait, this is the first time we're seeing red blood. Because it's old. So far it's all been pink. Because it's old. Mm. And it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way can I keep up with someone like that. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Seems to be the case here. That's bad. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on a detective show and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. There's surprising little blood at where the bodies were found though. Oh look, eye for an eye. Guess that's him, it's the last thing. Um, Bia Queer, what about about what Monokuma just told us? It's like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard? Or is he just flat out ignoring me? <laughs> you don't know it, this asshole. <laughs> Leafy area, yes. So I guess we did things in the right order. Run, 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 run. run. Raw. Raw? Rattle, rattle. It's locked. 
We came all this way just to be denied here. The sign at the hall says Biolab. A Biolab that we're forbidden from seeing into. It kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. <laughs> nothing so far does. <laughs> no, uh -uh, nothing whatsoever except this beautiful. Everything till now was perfectly fine. Just peachy. And gravy. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I've found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. Shouldn't we all have turned up the same thing? Hopefully, yes. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long... There you go. It would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. <laughs> she recovered quickly from that trauma. Yep. I think she's just fine. It's only been a day since Sakura died after all. It's the next morning. Yeah. So all good. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there is no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hack nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Who do we start with? I guess just go in order. She's still shutting up. Hey, Bia Korea, it seems like Toka wants to say something. So, why are you telling me? <laughs> well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> Jesus, man. I know you like torturing her, but come on. Well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. You honor me, master. And th don't worry, I took care of the uh, odor problem. She finally took a shower. <laughs> Seriously? You're just gonna take it? Sh shut up and d don't interrupt when master and me are talking. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? That's amazing. Yes, she did finally clean up for him. Yep, well I'm guessing he told her. Yeah, but to be honest, if you do absolutely no hygiene, self-care for like, how many days now? I'm not sure how many games, or how many games, how much time? Three weeks? Two? No, I think it's less. A while. I would say a week has passed. Well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was th th this. A knife? Wow, that thing is huge! It's like Rambo size! It's a survival knife of some type. Should have taken a pickaxe along. But what was it doing in a classroom? How would I know? No. Very suspicious. What are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not going to do anything. I just, just p picked it up and I don't want to leave a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. The, don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. No. Nope. Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we going to do with it? Um, Cut paprika? You, you've had knives the whole time. Yeah, but this Just thing apparently this is big. huge. You know? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I d don't want it anyway. It's t t too dangerous. Hmm. So what do to... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. So what to do? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Yeah, she just wants scissors, or her own scissors. Yep. Besides, I wouldn't trust anyone with that thing. No, definitely not. Then that's that. I would give it to the plant. Now, hold on, don't I get a say? It's all clear. It just shows how much we trust you. 
you should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> uh, okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. Guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Uh, anyway, th that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. <laughs> I'll do them after this conversation. In uh, a second. Do I s still have b b bad breath? Bad breath? <laughs> bad breath. Eat some beans. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry it stings. I'm so sorry it stings. I'm sorry. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Uh huh. Huh? Huh? Did Master just p praise me? This, <laughs> this is what it feels like when Evie praises you. <laughs> hey, good for you. Think I'll... Uh, I'm d dreaming. I must be d d dreaming. So far, I can 110% relate. <laughs> I did I would ever experience such a dream. I feel strange. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> so strange. Really strange. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> and I guess that was the last stream we're doing because... <laughs> Should I put the mature content filter on so you can keep going? <laughs> no, I think the first hour was enough. <gasps> and by last stream, of course, I meant last stream before we got instantly partnered. Look at the main page on Twitch. <laughs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Yeah, I think uh, it's time to get that out of my system and just do some sit-ups now because... <laughs> Toko's just very happy. Yeah, I could tell. Uh, I could I hear that. Did you turn on? Oh, yes, you did. Did I turn on what? The cam. But you did. <laughs> Could I didn't. Oh, fuck it. You can live with the wrong one. What? I got my microphone on the other side again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. My pants falling off here eight. while laying down. Really? <laughs> Is this just gonna keep going now? <laughs> and she was trying to like go do the sit ups, change the topic. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Nine. Ten. Eleven. <laughs> Just wow. I'm sorry for everyone that doesn't live alone and had us on loudspeaker. You know how the last time we were streaming, uh, Dang and Wanpa Groundhog said. I think it was Groundhog. Um, that maybe we shouldn't be put on loudspeaker because then <laughs> their mom would hear it. I think it was for stuff like this. Just a feeling. Well, just saying, this stream is a risk. Oh, you still have. Oh, never mind. Yes. I'm just. Slow? Yeah, I just have a lot of delay. At least she makes her best accomplice and she's most certainly willing to die for him. Yes. It's probably gonna yes. end in something like that. Because she can't get away with her own murder. So I would think she will be used. Yet I have you on the TV again. I'm living life on the edge. 
Well, then again, Groundhog, I believe you do know the game already, so maybe you remembered this happening. <laughs> you know the moments where it's coming. That's well, what I she said. Could try to start off. Nope. Bot does not agree. So, continuing. We started talking to Toko. Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found way more than one. Why can't I read today? Allow Why? me a second. That was fine. Just because you add one word to it doesn't really change I it. I added a lot of words. And I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. Oh God, free. <laughs> and then we have to go through the talk again. Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious. It's totally a man-eating plant. Pretty sure it's different from the ones that live in the pipe, though. Wanna bet that someone's gonna sacrifice a chicken just to see how long it takes for that thing to completely eat one? Uh, probably to see how... Because of the five chickens. Maybe. That's what I would do. Anyway, that thing must benefit from a sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know. Yeah, it's been a while since I had a cold. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. <laughs> um... I think you're thinking of ducks. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about you, Hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? Hey, come on, you don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. So, um, what was the question again? Mm, don't worry, you just answered it. So, let's talk to him again. Chicken coop. There were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Hmm. That's right, five. Five chickens. I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat, then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Oh, oh or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? I don't think you should eat raw mm, chicken. Raw chicken. Rebooting the See it a bit, Fody. Happy rebooting, Fody. Mm. I'm pretty sure that'll kill you. I really don't think you should eat raw chicken. Eh, uh, no. But if she does, that's one less worry, I suppose. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sashimi. Not with chicken. <laughs> I, I don't think so. I'll pass. You notice it too, huh? That pickaxe. Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and for what's crazy diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Mm, crazy diamond, hmm? Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think, I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Where? Ah, that's it, I remember. Well, it was the name of the... It was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I'm all for raw meat. Nah, no meat raw at all. Like, I'm the it needs to be completely done type. I'll let you all know how it goes, but I have an iron stomach, so I'm not sure of accurate results. <laughs> Uh, Skinner, please don't eat raw chicken. Yeah, just don't. I'd rather you don't. Just finding a dead in the chicken coop. <laughs> <laughs> Death by chicken. Uh, maybe it's like... Yeah, they're sticking out. Maybe it's like in the Zelda games, you know, you attack one and then there's a whole swarm coming at you. Mm. To each your own, I like my meat as raw as it gets. Fair enough, I just really don't like gamey flavors. I like the raw it gets, the gamier it also is. Even when thing. I was still eating meat, it had to be dead. Like completely done. But to each bone. 
I would never prepare <laughs> shit like that myself. Yes, please don't. We are the ultimate people that don't eat raw chicken. Especially me. <laughs> You're absolutely right. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Mando must have snuck and weren't done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came and Monokuma confiscated it? <laughs> Con confiscated, confiscated. We have once again <laughs> Con witnessed... Confiscated. <laughs> we have once again witnessed the birth of another word in the English language. You had extra words, <laughs> I had extra letters. <laughs> I don't know if that term is like kid-friendly. Tifa, please. Is that an actual thing, what I said? No, but I was thinking, how do you come to confiscate it? <laughs> so, would you like to try again? Well, I kind of imagined the it's in the word as well, and then it just went by itself. <laughs> uh. Confiscated it. There. I did it. But like stuff like this always makes me think of that. Um, I think it's a meme by now, but there is that super old comic from like the 70s or 80s. I forgot which character it is, um, but he says something, line or, uh, something along the line of, oh, even you with your mighty arms uh, couldn't fist them all, <laughs> like as in punching, but of course, I have a mind of a 12 year old. So. <laughs> yes, you do. Confisticated, <laughs> yes. I'm quite sure that's a word anyway. I've had sashimi before, but real sushi is better than sashimi. Sashimi is almost flavorless compared to actual cooked meat. Mm, Never had sashimi myself. before. I'm afraid I cannot speak from experience. Apparently it is an actual it word. It is an actual what? word. To cease for the public treasury, that especially is... as a penalty for wrongdoing. No, Tifa, that is confiscate. We're talking about confiscate. Oh, wait. Verb, to use oh, one's authority to lay claim to and separate a possession from its holder. So it's like confiscate, but forceful. Hmm. Well, <laughs> you learn I... something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that clip, Skinner. See, I know big words now. AKA a fancy synonym. <laughs> yeah, for people like... It means the same thing. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? Yo. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? I don't know. Maybe we can use it to make crop circles or something. I was quite right with the aluminium hat. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. We can use those to call for help. What the heck's happened to you? Is it just me or is he getting dumber and dumber as we get into Well, now there's just more time for him to speak. Hmm. You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? How did he survive this long? <laughs> well, back then I personally hadn't quite solidified yet. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. On what crops? That's the point. I hear that on a daily basis from you. That you have gotten dumber since. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. You do plenty of smart things. It's just usually not the case when the camera is on. <laughs> My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. If this were like. A cliche horror game be some kind of creature, the final boss or tyrant or... We're not in a horror game though. Are we? <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. 
I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, how I said it is right too. Just a thriller, yes. <laughs> Merriam Webster has deemed confiscate to be unknown. Tifa forever expanding this forsaken language. <laughs> I raise my cup to it. I have my own language. Do you want me to confiscate the cup from you? That's enough. Didn't talk to him yet, did we? By the way, did any of you find it? We have a strange room on the fifth floor. Well, no, strange is a massive understatement. The smell of fat. Bleh. You're on the wrong side if you want to confiscate. <laughs> The smell of flesh and fat and blood, the white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What, what the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But, I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other words, I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that was what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? I think eight people dying gruesomely would still not be the most awful event, but... Huh? No, but... You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is... The mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room... That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? We call it. Yep. Assuming. This is right. Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of a student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true, that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. I'm not sure if having a school shooting or murder or whatever happened there is enough to close your doors though. I don't know. I mean, I guess it all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. Very right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. A deadly this. I was gonna a say. A deadly that. death. A deadly tragic. A, a deadly hopeless. A deadly still. But still, how is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? That's the last one we need to talk to, no? Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to kind of be Sakura's job, but... Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. A deadly despair! <laughs> <laughs> Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. What I noticed about the layout of the school? <laughs> you, took a, you took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? Because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something very, every other floor has. A staircase. Oh, Ranger! I got a heart attack Thank there. You Thank you so the much for the gift sub, Ranger! Ranger! And it went to Groundhog! Groundhog, enjoy your gift, sir. <laughs> I think Ranger can't see the beans now. <laughs> you will get PTSD. Yes or no, Ranger? Thank you so ah, much, Ranger. It's beginning to smell through the bottle. Ugh. Well, don't smell the bottle. No beans. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the torture bean. Thank, Thank you for, for the torture, torture bean. bean. Super, Super duper vengeance on you. 
Oh, well, make me look stupid. <laughs> no, Ranger, I am quite sure has been cured of the beans. Evie, and I think this doesn't make you look stupid. It makes you <laughs> seem like even more of a saint because I'm pretty sure that Ranger would have made us eat them if you had told him <laughs> yesterday to eat them. No, I don't think so. I think Ranger is just too traumatized to now let others eat the beef. <laughs> so, thank you, Ranger. And thank you, Evie, for pushing <laughs> Ranger in the right direction. Oh, that is true. How the fuck did I become a saint? <laughs> saint Evie? It's not who we are, but the things we do that define us. Deep, huh? <laughs> I can taste it from here, Ranger. No, do not, don't. Why are you doing this to me? Don't open it. Imagine the smell. He had to open it. Andrick oh, just shit. cheered Andrick. 500 bits. So, Andrick, <sighs> I need to quickly close this. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hendrix, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, Beans. Thank you for the bits anyway. You just had to go and open it <laughs> to make Ranger remember. Ranger, I think, just quickly ran off just now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. 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 Uh, Back to four hours of epic. Enjoy. Boo you. We went random. It is skunk or dead fish, and I'm going for skunk. No, you said I always get first pick, so fuck you. <laughs> Ble -le -le. Sorry, X fam. Then you'll just have to pick your own. That is perfectly fine. <laughs> you earned the right to make us do this. One sec. One sec. One sec. <laughs> oh my god, muting. I can hear the bean flavor. Uh, Clink. Cheers. To you, Andrik. <laughs> yes, licorice. Ah, uh, fuck my life. I I'm... can't taste it yet, but I can smell the aroma. I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> Her, not you. <laughs> yeah, because skunk groundhog is not as bad as dead fish. First bite releases the nasty. Who's juice? Nope, nope. Bye. It's like a tuna family died in your mouth. <laughs> uh, and, and their dying moments, they cursed you. I love licorice. <laughs> nope, nope. Bye. <laughs> I'm extremely happy with licorice. And when they died, they shit it. Yes, they did. In my mouth. That is very common after dying. Would you like another one to flush it out? I will confiscate this from you now. <laughs> if I try it, let's open it. Okay. Oh. You could have been lucky and had a good one. <sighs> Thanks, for <the> lurk. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk. Oh, that is as bad as it tastes. Here, have some licorice. <laughs> it's like a tuna pissed into your mouth. <laughs> How do you know what that is? I don't know. I imagine that's what it's like. <laughs> you know, water and dead fish only makes it worse. I'm gonna refrain from the water. Thank you for the beans. You're mixing the ocean in your tap water, yeah. If I spit out for water after trying to flush it out of my teeth, I'm pretty sure at least one whale will come out of something. 
You should keep pelt cleansings next year by, uh, nearby Groundhog. That is a beautiful idea, and we actually did that, but we ran out. <laughs> he actually did that. We next. haven't bought more chocolate yet. Yeah. Until he ate them all. Yeah. <laughs> Till people kept making us eat beans. Now he has to deal with the fish. Yeah. It does smell a bit fishy in here. What even is the point of showering before streaming anymore? <laughs> ah. Alright, I gotta eat my candy. Ooh, what are you having? I hope it has better flavor. Something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor. Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? She could have at least said, oh, there's no stairs. Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. I, it's been too long since we started this game. Um, did it look like it only has five floors from the outside? It wasn't a skyscraper or anything, was it? No, it could be. Like five, five floors seemed reasonable. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But that's the hardest part. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. For Sakura. Maybe yeah, not. Yeah, he knows right. Sakura has already forgotten. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. Can you really say that after it's down to us? After no. everyone tries to kill Sakura? No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. So, now what do we do? You're preferably it's horrible. <laughs> no, go away. <laughs> well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um, Effective use of tuna breath. <laughs> yes. I think I prefer tuna breath. She, because if I had gotten closer with my face, she would have swatted me away, but she didn't expect that one. <laughs> so, what is it you want to figure out? Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well... Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is Kyoko. Right? Yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, Hero's the ultimate clairvoyant, even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? few miscellaneous candies, gotta use things up or get rid of them before Passover. To be honest, we just put some of her food in the higher up cabinets and tape them shut and sell them online and buy them back. Hmm. Hmm. So, you buy candy and then sell them again? Is there a market for that? And then buy them... Oh wait, I'm thinking to Israel. Well, why not? There is a market for that. Like you even have like, especially like imported candy from Japan or whatever. Hmm, fair enough. Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. No. I can't. Hmm? What? Why won't you t t tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What, the heck? what do you mean? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... 
Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is very suspicious. Y you ca can't be serious right now, c c can you? Not actually, just a symbolic thing. Don't actually get rid of the stuff we sell. That's why I use the quotation marks. Because you're not supposed to own anything not kosher for Passover. Oh. Uh, like that. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> That's actually a good one. To be honest. Wouldn't of... work with us because we'd eat it. Yeah. Out of like all the like how do I say this? Like dietary systems for like uh, kosher eating, halal. I don't think I could have ever done kosher because I love lasagna too much. I mean, now I could because I'm a vegetarian, but kosher is for one where you are not allowed to mix meats with dairy, right? I think. Could be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I am not sure about that actually. I think it is. What's the reason behind that? I don't know. I can look that up. This part that of it. That is part yeah. of it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Look so at me remembering right. things. Mm. Well, you can make lasagna without dairy. How? I mean, how? Without uh, bechamel, bechamel sauce, sauce. Yeah. and the cheese. Vegan cheese. Good point. Oh yeah. I mean, it is possible. Yeah, but. I'm pretty sure then a lot of people would not make the difference between vegan options and traditional non-vegan options. I imagine. But... I'm just saying you went, I can't eat lasagna anymore, but you could. Not a traditional one. Yeah, that not. <sighs> I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. So you have no intention of telling us? Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. What are you going to do? Torture me? Nothing so barbaric as that. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give, up. give me the key to your room. But if she gives you her room key... What? <laughs> she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. What? Just hold on. A threat like that? That's fine. fine. I understand. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. You could get out of that, though, because basically... You make sure you stay awake until you pass out. Passing out is allowed. It's going to sleep somewhere. Yeah, like totally. Going the there with option. the attention to sleep that is not allowed. I'm just saying. I don't think so. I can explain if you're curious. Yeah, if you don't definitely. mind, yes, please. I always love learning new things. Now. I how about we just continue and see how they solve this time? Not this year, but... Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and... held out her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool. <laughs> Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So... But maybe she really did lose her memory. If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst <laughs> school ever. Where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. The worst school? Where only the worst things happen? Do you really mean that? Huh? Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Wait, it's night time. Oh yeah. Key. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything to harm any of you. 
Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What's her deal? I think you went too far taking a room key like that. Yeah, I love how we just let this stuff happen. No. The Torah says you shall not boil a kid in its mother's milk. And that's understood as not mixing meat and dairy. Oh, okay. You shall not boil... Okay, right. fair enough. So, boil. since I assume you have a lot more experience with this than we do, um, do people actually choose not to make the distinction between vegan and non-vegan alternatives? Like what Tifa said earlier, like my lasagna example. If you were to use a vegan milk substitute and vegan cheese. But there's a very clear thing in what dairy is. Yes, but it's not about the definition, it's about how people view it. For some people, cheese is cheese. You know? Yeah, but... If you happen to know, I would be happy to learn that too. I really don't think so, but I can be completely wrong. Oh, for her that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoying g g getting yelled at. Of course you do. <laughs> if it's vegan, it's not meat or dairy, it's, I'm gonna butcher this, pareve, and can be consumed with even. See? Okay. So people actually do make the distinction. Yes, because there is. Yeah, but not everybody does. It's like you not eating a vegan nugget or eating chicken nuggets because the vegan nugget looks the same. That's basically what you're saying. Yeah, some people wouldn't. While being a vegetarian. Yes, some people actually don't do that. Yeah, but also the other way around. Which means you would eat the chicken nugget because it looks like the vegan nugget. Personally, I'm okay with something, be, uh, with something being certified vegan, but some people won't eat anything not certified kosher. See? Yeah, but that doesn't have anything Thank to do... Thank you very do. much. With that, that's you knowing something might be vegetarian, but you don't eat it because there's no label on it. It's the same thing. I People don't know prefer to be sure with a label, which I can completely understand. Fair enough. If anything, it's much more convenient. You have uh, the same with... Muslims, I also know a lot of people that only eat meat if it has a halal sign on it, for example. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Can be vegan and certified kosher too. I actually never checked that. I, I have never seen anything certified kosher here, actually. Uh, because I didn't look for it, I think um, some of the stuff we have bought really? has like a little line on it, but over here it's like the kosher market is not nearly as big as that the market for halal or vegetarian and vegan stuff. Well, if it's halal, it's also kosher, I believe. I don't know about that. I think it is, but I don't, don't hold me to it. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, it is. Oh no, wait, halal does not equal kosher, but kosher equals halal. Hmm. And there is an article here that explains why. The more you know. Oh, Groundhog also ah, said it. It's the same except it doesn't separate. Oh, okay. True, I because then you have that. the dairy thing. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I learned a lot today. My favorite letter is wisdom. <laughs> I feel like I'm no longer part of the group then. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You're getting nosy again, Toko. Oh, it's about time he does. <laughs> I don't think he will. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. I still think it could be a two-on-one. Like if we kill Biakuya 
probably Toko will commit suicide or what something. What do you mean we kill? We don't kill anybody. Yeah, but like if we would somehow magically be able to get rid Allow of him. Allow me to interrupt you for something more important. Hello, Benji. <laughs> hey, Benji, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. How is the Happy Tuesday. Tuesday coming along? Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... But what's Kyoko gonna do now? Plus, this situation... It's just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I... I'm no different either. Yep. I still can't stop anyone. Ah. We're just sitting there and... What, what the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Look! Oh, here I thought Toko <laughs> stabbed her with the... <laughs> Tuesday's been okay, found out I have to go back to work next week. I mean, given the situation, I'm happy that you didn't lose your job, of course. But, yeah, I know what you mean. Did they send you on... what was it, what's it called? If you... On furlough. On furlough. When it comes to eating at restaurants, I have a don't ask, don't tell policy. It could be a kosher meal. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. How long have you been in furlough? How long have you been furloughed? How long have you been furloughed? I believe is the proper way. I believe Skinner also had to go back to work. Yeah, I think so. Over here, they're locking shit down again because surprisingly, once they opened up schools, the numbers shot way through the roof again. So <laughs> to be fair, the numbers down. are also going through the roof since the tests are now for free. Yes. Since which, you don't have to pay a hundred bucks for it, people will get tested. Yes, which is a good thing, but also. It doesn't change that it was there, but like yes. numbers picking or numbers shooting up has happened since the test became free. Since January, but this was for third time. Okay. Hmm. The 12th lockdown isn't over until the 12th. So I hope you're gonna hmm. stay safe. Well, stay safe. So yeah. you can. Our lockdown is now prolonged until the 18th of April. Of April. Yeah. We got at least one more month out of this. Yep. Uh, back to 12. The <laughs> moment lockdown is over, back to work. Yep. But my workplace wants to come, wants us to come in and set stuff up. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, but... Mm. Staggering our lockdown easement. Yeah, we, we were staggering it too. It's just that the steps <laughs> they took in staggering the easement completely fucked it up. Yeah, they set up like this one month plan and every week more stuff could go open until everything was supposed to be open by the end of April. And guess what happens? I think we got to step one. Yeah, because <laughs> guess what happens if step one is making kids go to school again because... Uh, Which I do agree is important. I mean, I plenty of kids that. are suffering. It's a complex issue, but uh, if suddenly you have people from so many families go all meet up in small confined rooms and then go back like it doesn't really matter if the other four people in the household don't leave but the kids start spreading it at mm, least yeah. that's what keeps happening over here every time they reopen the schools the, all the other stuff it works too it helps to a degree yes but every you can like draw a line over it every time we close schools Numbers slowly go down, and then if we open them again, numbers go up. <laughs> it's like, but it's complex. I mean, I understand why you can't keep kids cooped up inside mm -hmm. for the rest That's of the That's how I fully agree why they keep opening schools first. I mean, schools should be priority, but right now it's not really helping. Personally, I think only the special education students should be back right now. To be honest, I mean, it's easy for me to sit here and like seem like I feel like I know better, but I don't. And I, I think I've mentioned this before, I would not want to be in the shoes of the people who decide these kind of things at all, because you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. Like, Sometimes I feel a bit bad that we're enjoying, enjoying the lockdown life, actually. Yeah, but we, no, but if you oversimplify it, yes, we're not enjoying the lockdown life. 
we're enjoying being able to work from home for the, the first things that time come time. with the lockdown life like staying home working from home we enjoy stuff being incredibly quiet we enjoy not having to commute uh those things i'm not enjoying the actual pandemic because shit's fucked up outside here but well that no i do hope people of course get through it fast and easy things will open up again but i wouldn't mind like continuing this the factory rate happen. is the same as march april peak last year that's a good thing when i guess considering that you sh i assume the uk also does tons more testing though. Yeah, the UK is also going really fast with uh, vaccines. Hmm. I think they're at number one right now. Wasn't the US? No, I'm quite sure the UK was yeah. leading. I thought America like completely overtook Europe once Biden took over. Really? Oh. Yeah, they are on track to actually um, be done with their goal of having 100 million vaccinations done within like 60 days. Oh, that could be nice. Wrong. Instead of 100. That was the plan. Okay, well, in within Europe, it's definitely the UK. Yeah, Germany. Com it's we, gonna we take like two that. years. <laughs> Look, UK sucks. <laughs> Brexit. It's all Brexit. Definitely, things will change post-pandemic, and more people will work remotely. If I never have to go into another office again in my life, I'm fine with that. I mean. The one or two meetings that would have been better face to face, yes. Uh, but 99% of the time, I am just as effective, if not more effective, working from home. It all depends on where you work. Like yeah, with DK in IT, you can definitely do everything online. Like maybe once a week, come up, come. Unless to work. you work on the hardware, of course, then you have to be well, there. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Can't take a data center along with you. You should. <laughs> yeah but like at other jobs like i work in a call center and a lot of the agent actually almost all of the agents are working from home now as well but i don't think that should be a permanent solution why Handy not for every now and then if it works yeah but especially with like newer people it doesn't really work because I, you become a bit less productive because you don't have... We haven't had any issues thing. with that. We've had a tiny bit of issue. At with least that. in my teams, but I mean, it varies, of course. Some people completely suffer from having to stay at home, but... Like a combination would be perfect, though. I'm hoping I can oh. talk with my boss after all of this stuff and maybe discuss like at least one day home office a week bottom line it definitely catapulted remote work into yeah. being an actual thing over here bosses like to see you working <laughs> mine doesn't mine doesn't care as in not where i work from because i know i know she ours see that does, working, but so. my boss is pretty chill when it comes to that like yeah. i have free reign fortunately then again also we are also lucky with our bosses. <laughs> that is very true. Because I know plenty of people that are like what Benjima said. Uh, Who wants to stand behind yeah. you with a whip. <laughs> work. Thankfully, work. I'm golden when it comes to that. <laughs> no, but like a nice mixture would be cool. Yeah, my perfect mixture would be 100% remote work. <laughs> no, I would still like to go back to work sometimes. Just Let's not see how things day. will go. Yeah. Should we take a quick break? Um, yeah, it's been two hours. Guess we should. It's good. Love to work from home, but I don't know how that would work considering I work in a stock room. Yeah. That's probably going to be a bit harder. Yeah, not every not every like line of work lends to remote work. So. So. Quick one, for me they already can, have to log in my remote work desktop which they control so they can see all the logs. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I have, I'm talking to people more than I have when I was still in the office. <laughs> no, I actually talk to people less. I only talk to the people I need to talk to. So you're more efficient now is what you're saying? Anyway, we'll be right back. I'm not a small talker. And we're back. Yes, we are. 
Ten for my dining room. <laughs> <clears throat> it, mm. It's you. How long have you been standing there? Now. <laughs> I'm done. Did you press the wrong button? I did accidentally uh, did a screen transition back to something else. <laughs> anyway. I'm very, very angry. No, he said it himself. Angry at what? At the thief. Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief among in your midst. I'm the, 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 the. In your midst. Be, 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 be. What? My precious. Oh, I fucked that one up. They stole it. You're precious. Be a bee. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops at leaving this till after the break. <laughs> Don't you worry. It happens. Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. But what the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. Wow. And he's gone. What the heck was all that about? He Can said we... something about his precious getting stolen? Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It likely has to do something with Kyoko. Huh? Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, it was already nighttime before, no? Yeah, but now it's officially nighttime. Yeah. <laughs> Been there, done that. We need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow. And about Kyoko. How about someone returns that fucking key? However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take pre extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms and don't go wandering around. Well, not like we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, sure, let's not give back the key. Because why should we? Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Oh, that's right. I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko. Oh, is that the knife that was used to murder someone in the preview thing that we saw that happens in three days? Mm. Turn on the oven, gonna have some leftover pizza. Nice. I would love some leftover pizza. Me too. So tasty. Leftover pizza is an all the time food. <laughs> <laughs> There's never a bad time for leftover pizza. I love pizza for breakfast. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. No, like hide it somewhere. Like under the... But anyway, is Kyoko really gonna be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she gonna do? Under the closet. Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... Ding dong. She can sleep in our room, no? Pretty much. They just have, she just has to sleep in a dorm. I literally had just started doing 100 crunches when you decided to take a break. Why would she do that? <laughs> no. Why are you doing so many crunches? <laughs> Hmm. As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? I wonder, probably everyone should be able to hear the doorbell. K Kyoko? I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Wait, Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of a darkened hallway. Why can't we always like walk together? I gotta keep up my strong core. Well, true, you are a dancer, right? 
more power to you. Do some extra crunches for us. <laughs> Do a hundred for us as well. Only if you feel like it. And I'll eat your pizza. That's a fair plan. <laughs> if you good, want to do some extra exercises. Trait. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but... Yeah, we're also not supposed to lock someone out. I can't just not go. Oh well. Oh, she could sleep here. Hmm. It's been Sorry. way too long since I last got to dance, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but then I imagine that you also get a light keep up before you end up like me after lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> like a potato sack. Like our body style by this point would be the dumpling. <laughs> Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Indeed. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of a surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean, does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? I stole this. A key? That looks a pretty cool key. Kind of cute. But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It's probably a master key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? From the Headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the Headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? The lock was broken. What? It was Sakura. She did it for us. Oh, fuck. She did... Remember what she said in her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? Right. Sakura is awesome. So that we could uncover whatever secrets may lay hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. But shouldn't she have been killed almost immediately? I mean, there is a camera pointing at that room. So basically yeah, but she... then we wouldn't have this plot point. Like, so she destroyed the lock, then went on wanting to meet with people, had plenty of time to do the whole suicide thing. Yeah, so at this point she would have been killed if she hadn't taken her own life. Yeah, but don't she get like killed immediately? Like, what's the point of waiting a day before... She also straight up attacked Monokuma. Yeah, it's almost like Monokuma is doing what it wants. Yeah, I guess. But still. You know, also adding rules. I would have said you get killed on the spot. That's what Monokuma And the fact that the lock like, but... is still... Yeah, you know what? I'm overthinking. Yes. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. Keep going and Kyoko <laughs> will explain. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing we're gonna have there. He's gonna have the same questions I have. But if I just trolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to. Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result. I found this key. But this goes against my theory that there is several Monokumas at once. Well, there definitely is several. I mean, one exploded already. Yeah, but not at once, necessarily at least. I would imagine if you didn't want anyone in that room, you would, I don't know, keep one inside her? Mm. But... Wow. Well... Then, what you told me about you yesterday, uh, did that come... Then, what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. Sorry, what was her name? One they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Sorry, what do we need to do with her? And what's her name? <laughs> Who is she? And what's she the other one? 
Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mokura Ik Ik <laughs> Ikusaba is dangerous. Is there a reason why to my eyes and ears, well, my eyes mostly, Mokuro Ikusaba kind of contains most of the black like, letters that Monokuma does? Dangerous. She may very well be the mastermind. Mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubts I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mokuro Ikosawa really could be the mastermind? <laughs> this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. So, Groundhog, um, could, you, could you repeat that? I, I don't think I got... <laughs> How many times will we need to go through this? Now that we've grasped it, we can't let go, can we? <laughs> of course! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Now it's beginning to stick. Yeah, I believe we needed to watch out for her, if I remember correctly. Oh my god. Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? I don't know yet, which is why. I hope it's a master key. I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us... But they didn't catch on last night, right? True. Maybe we just got lucky. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Hmm. That is a good point. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Or maybe it was on we purpose, are. because this is all about being in despair. We are the ultimate lucky student. True. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. Maybe do it with something else. For science. <laughs> and if we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. If it's true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we fail... Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much, after all. Minimal restrictions, you're free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Well, yes, one where we can't break down doors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's a master key though. Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. True, because Sakura did. The door was open. But if a mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. It could just kill us all without a second thought. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. Hypothesis? <laughs> Hippopotamus? Yes. Me. What? In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? We gain something, whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? You have a whole possibly dying gruesomely, but mm. I mean, other than that. But, but well, you're not breaking the rules, so he won't kill you for it. I'm trying to avoid danger. You'll never move forward. Exactly. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us, and with that in view, she just smiled. 
I can't change how I feel and wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. She has to be like ultimate detective. Huh? What's this? Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. She's gonna die next, isn't she? Yeah, that seems very suspicious. If something happens... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is... unappealing. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point, you can be sure of that. Yes, of course. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Yeah, and be a crazy asshole. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. There we Speak go again. Speak plain, woman. <laughs> I, I can't just forget that easily. Okay then, shall we begin? I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. Hmm. No, nope, everything is going to be fine, I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. Uh -huh. And then I got to work. Like, Kyoko can be annoying, but I also don't want her today. Please don't leave us alone. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here. I've got a bone to pick with you. Then, a few moments later... I didn't think he would go... Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. By the way... Hmm? What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you? In the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet. So wet and warm. I bet you guys... <laughs> Remove to confirm with local and international censorship laws. <laughs> All over her, didn't you? <laughs> At least they censored this time. <laughs> uh, not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night boss seats. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation, far away from X-rated exploits. Oh, so that's why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? <laughs> Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, well, um, it's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Whether I'm a madame as well, mademoiselle, mademoiselle, <laughs> or a dude fella. Actually. But in the beer kingdom, there is no male or female. I'm not sure if that's actually true. Um, actually, there is. Seriously? Not in the teddy bear kingdom, I would say. <laughs> That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me! 
you're not gonna ask me something useful, like how to get the best honey or your sin breeding tips. This is just crazy. Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? Blah, blah, blah. What's the stars you think? I don't know, I think that's the point. <laughs> God! Damn, my voice is all over the place today. You're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and fuck. That's it. I should have gone for shit, but... <laughs> what was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. And obvious. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Phew. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Why has nobody ever tried to follow Monokuma? I mean, he's coming from somewhere, so he's got to go back somewhere, right? Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. It should. Hey, Nessa. Hey, Nessa, how, how are you doing? doing? Been a while. I drink to that. Cheers. How's your week been? Happy Tuesday. How's your week been? It's Tuesday. How's your week been so far? <laughs> I guess I can add to so far. So how long do you think this conversation was? Like five minutes? <sighs> Probably. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. Nope, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? We're doing pretty well. We yes. are slowly nearing the end of this game. Very slowly. <laughs> Very slowly, but we're getting there. And it's a really good game, so... I don't <laughs> mind us taking forever because at least I'm having fun. That is true. <laughs> My week has been a mess so far. Why that? What happened? <laughs> How so? 100 hours later. We are... Actually, we... What? How many hours were we at? 50 we something? We are at 56.3 hours currently. I am totally guessing we will land around 69 hours. That would be amazing. I think we got this timed. That would be amazing. I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. I feel like you're getting quicker at getting through it now. <laughs> We're getting the hang of it. Brought to you by Spike June Soft Company Limited. These guys are so slow that they plan on leaving the completion <laughs> of a series to their future children. Jokes on you, we're not getting children. But we could leave it for <laughs> the generations that come after us, yes. Oh. All right. Please tell me the anime doesn't look like this. I don't think it does. I would play that game. It's like a Dynasty Warriors game, but with Sakura. I would play it. Do they ever explain what those Monokuma theater things are? <laughs> there you go. Sakura's Revenge. The game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. Of course, if enough people buy Danganronpa, who knows? So buy copies for all of your friends. The well. actual fuck. Well, <laughs> it may be an ad for itself, but... It could have been a cool game. I wouldn't watch it as an anime though. Hmm, this super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development. But it will start back up again if Danganronpa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends too! Well, game this is going quite... Going quite well, like Evie recommended it to us. We bought the games in the end. DK bought the games. Like, it just keeps going. That is true. Yeah, that is true. Evie, have you enjoyed your... How much is it, Benno? 1.2 cents? 
you've received from us buying the games on DK? Don't you get a commission? Time for a refund just because. <laughs> But you didn't play yet, you said, so I believe you still could. You have two hours gameplay now. Uh, two hours, but <laughs> within a two-week time period. Okay, wait. I had a breakdown yesterday. Then I had a shy horse to... Wait. And I had a shy horse today. Apparently, it takes her some lessons to be more forward of different people. And since it oh, was the first horse. time I had her, she did not want to trot or gallop. And jumping, I did one jump, first jump, she stopped and refused to go over the pole, second jump, she overjumped it. Very sorry to learn that you had a breakdown yesterday. Um, did you get hurt with a horse? Because that sounds like something I would break something yeah. with. I hope the horse will definitely get used to you, Odo. Yes. I think that is also one of the best rewards. Yes, I agree. Now you know why she told you to buy them. Get me some Sakura's Revenge! I would play it in the form of... Fuck, what are those games called that we also have? That they also released the Zelda version of, basically. Dynasty Warriors, which is what I mentioned earlier. Oh, well, not the game I meant first, but... It's the same yes. thing, I suppose. Yes, but that's... What's the genre called? Musu games? Yeah. Yeah, like the Dynasty Warrior... Oh my god. <laughs> We're talking about the same thing anyway. <laughs> uh, Sakura. Why don't you go back to confiscating things? <laughs> Just the uh, usual emotional breakdown. Still sorry to hear that. I am. But I'm happy that I guess you're doing better. That's a good thing. I hope the horse riding lessons will help you with that. <laughs> wow, that's relatable. Unfortunately, yes. Ding dong, bing bong. Say it like you mean it. Ding dong, bing bong. Thank you. Now we may continue. Good morning, everyone. Let's quickly run to the garden place so that we can sprinkle. Can get sprinkled. Holy fuck, I thought I was going crazy last week. I'm a link a song in Discord for you all to check out if you all have been paying attention to the music in this game. <laughs> we have been paying attention to the music in this game because it's absolutely amazing. The other day at work, I actually... Uh, actually? Actually. Actually. Uh, put on the soundtrack for the game. And I was smart. I turned around my phone so there that I wouldn't is. read any descriptions or any of the comments. Nissan Black Motherland Bounce. I shall leave this open already. We're gonna check it out. My body feels so heavy this morning. Yeah. Must be because I was up so late last night. Yep. I'm guessing it's sort of the same. Anyway, I need to go to the dining hall. So where did Kyoko sleep? Leave the area, yes. Yes, we would like to leave the area. Run, 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 run. I hope I get to have a shy horse again, but I don't want to have her too often because I don't want to make the feel replaced. I feel like I never get a new favorite horse for many years. Hmm. Imagine having too many horses that you <laughs> like and that like you back. <laughs> that would be nice. Like, can you swap it the same day or if you have a lesson, you have to stick to the same horse? Can you trade horses? Horses <laughs> yes. Can you trade horses? <laughs> Give both of them your love. Oh my god, can we get rid of this dude? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? So, sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. You really think it's a tired excuse like this is gonna work? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? I don't recall giving you permission. Huh? I just, just, just thought, I mean, since the day had passed, it may be reset? This is so sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my p punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang us a sign on my neck that says, Bad girl, I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. That is such a nasty fault. <laughs> Bah! <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not. I 
if you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more d disgusting comments, I pr promise. Uh, never up to me which horse I have. Okay, hmm. fair enough. Um, Just throw away the truth, but I, I think the don't think she would. Yeah, I think the implication is that she wouldn't. Toko would not throw away that toothbrush. She can ignore the shower for a week. What's a few days without a toothbrush? She would use that toothbrush and then smell like your breath right now. It's gotten a bit better. If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I d don't mind. We're going very good, aren't we? <laughs> I think we already went there. It's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. Anyway, how's your sex life been? <laughs> Where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore? I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. Best thing to do right now is just to keep quiet. Very strange. You're tearing me apart, Togo! <laughs> oh, that hurt my throat. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I was pressing the vocal cords together too much. Uh. Imagine being bad at speaking. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? How does he know? He has the key. Yeah. Pretty sure so he went to check. Yeah, you still have a key, right? Guess he's an asshole. Ah, are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? What do you want now? Hey, hey. I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do, do you know where she is? Hmm. Well, it's hard to say. Huh? You don't know either? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here. To try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bullcrap? I f feel like I'm g getting whiplash the way he changes the subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Now he's gonna start our, about our bathroom adventure. Which could mean... That would be the best way to steer up trouble. I wonder what they think she did last night. Did you stay up all night or did you sleep in Makoto's room? It would make sense, but... Could she have been right about that? So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirikiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Wait. Is this supposed to throw me off? Has Monokuma ever called anyone by their first name? I'm not sure. Does it matter? Well, we met another character that never called someone by their first name. No, I think... Though I honestly don't think that Hifumi is behind all of us. Hifumi is definitely not behind all of us. We have no idea. I think he said full names before. The cake is a lie! Yes, it is. No, it's not. And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. For serious? I see. Well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers! As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. It's getting a bit frech. <laughs> so, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Maybe the ultimate student or despair student is locked behind one of those rooms. Could be. Don't you think we should all go look for her? And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, 
How can he not know where she is? Yeah, so strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Whew. Breakfast didn't really help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Free time! So, who do you want to spend time with? Um, who do we still all need? Everybody. We have all of their first special skills, at least. Where is everybody? That's a good question. Oh. Upstairs. Fair enough. That being said... Well, we have... How about we talk to Toko, get to know her better? Sure enough. I guess Toko may... But Toko is the least chance of dying. So we shouldn't talk to Toko. Yeah, but I assume the next victim will be Kyoko. How is she Just... not gonna die? Or how is she not getting eaten? She isn't touching it. When are we ever gonna get out of here? Not that I'd have much to look forward to if, if I did get out. Hmm, should I hang with Kyoko for a while? Kyoko. Toko. Yeah, fine. More p pity? Aren't you such a g good person showing me all this p p pity? Don't give her children <laughs> again. Nah, I learned. Yeah, I would have told him to stop, but he went like. <laughs> I spent some time with Toko. And we grew a little closer today. Even though I'm not sure what we did give her. Pen. Oh yeah, pen. We still have a lot of pens. Prismatic heart tag. That... We definitely have the pen. You thought it was Shiny Pichu, but it's me, D his girlfriend, Gardevoir. <laughs> Hey, Shiny, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you, DK. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was the novelist fountain pen. Everlasting bracelet, glasses. I think we still have like two of those. Oh, maybe not. We, we also do have a rose in vitro, but... Where is that stupid pen? We definitely... Uh, oh, there it is. We have yeah, we still have three of us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep, I have a girlfriend. Well, she's a BFF, but close to a girlfriend. Whatever works. Yeah, that is very true. Besides, you should always get together with your BFF. I've been living with my best friend for 10 years. No. How sweet. I know, maybe one day you'll meet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Three months! Ben coming in with the sub! Year. Thank you for the resub! Ben! Thank you so much! I Yay. hate that I have to, Three but months. I have to ask do we skip the beans? <laughs> or are you making us eat the beans? Actually, Thank I'm you, gonna man. save my water. Everyone likes the rose in vitro. Yeah, I have seen that item oh. a bit too often. That makes sense. That's pretty Thank cliche. you so much. What does chat think? <laughs> <laughs> you two have been waiting for this, haven't you? I think you guys said it faster. <laughs> yes. Then we could read it. Well, that's two for eat and one for skip. Benjima, final vote goes to you since you're the one that resub. <laughs> In the end, it's your say. You know me, I like culture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hope I never get stuck in a Danganronpa game with you. Eat it! I c c can't for forgive this. Should know that since the first day of the beans. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I remember no, that's that. That's very true. That was the absolute worst. My stomach remembers that too. No. <laughs> since good old Tofu over here keeps fucking me over. Like, I think like 20... 
20 is the limit. After that, it's like game over. Why can't they do a free time with Biogria? What is it? Is this Booger? Yes. Okay, I think I got the safe one here. Since Tofu is screwing me over by picking for herself <laughs> flavors that she doesn't hate as much slash enjoys. I'm going with random. Also, I think I got a bad one. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you smelled out of this. Oh, you also got the spicy beans. Nice. Ah, why do you do that to yourself, Ben? Apparently the spicy ones are quite bad. Cheers. Ben, here's to you. We can also do free time with Biaquia. We probably get two turns anyway. Leg one. I had two good ones today. Pear. Mwah. Chef's kiss. The pear one ain't bad either. That's what I'm saying. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Also, there's something we forgot to do today, Tifa. Oh yeah, add uh, two. How many have you spent with him so far? Um, I'm not even sure. Three? Four? Three or four. I think. Four, I We're think. gonna check in a moment. Yeah, we can have a look after this. Oh, come on, bot. There we go. Oh, Stupid why did you add three? Oh no, you only added two. Never mind. Yeah, it was too fast. It didn't work. Yeah. We have... Ooh, we can only do two more. <laughs> After 69, we're done. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna change it so that we'll say it will start from zero again, but plus 69. <laughs> oh, I could do that. Damn it! Uh, you brought luck, Benjima. A spicy barf. I mean, no, but if someone paid for two subs, then I could technically have that combo. Ben, mm. have you ever done Bean Boozled before? Spicy barf could be a because interesting combination. If you recall that TV show Jackass, you know how they always have this, this disclaimer in the beginning, like, uh, hey, please notice that these people are paid professionals. <laughs> uh, while I wouldn't call us professionals, we're really dumb. So it's bad. I have a feeling, though, that the spicy one will take over everything, yes. even the bad ones. I'm surprised you've spent so much time with him already. I wanted all the special skills. Yeah, we decided to try to go through everyone, even though we wasted a lot of skills because they died. Yeah. We fucked up the order <laughs> on a lot of those. Uh, I already said this line. I'll never forgive you for, for being this nice to me. With, you know, without the stutter, mm -hmm. I imagine that is something Evie would say. <laughs> that could be. I'm not even sure. <laughs> oh my god, two more. Thank, Thank you, you for the two gifts. Uh, I'm Thank guessing you. you would like us to skip. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much, DK. So, um. You can go through all the free time events in post-game dating sim mode where everybody survives and it's totally canon. What killing game? I know, right? <laughs> it was all just a dream. DK, since I've been more the answer. No, I'm quite sure DK prefers to skip. No. Hey, just get them random. No, I'm not giving you a random. We don't have enough even ones. I, we do. DK, both at once or one after the other? Your call. Mm, I think these two. I'm quite sure DK will say skip. <laughs> Both at once. Are oh, you beautiful, beautiful oh, person? But it's skunk and spoiled milk. Here we go. Oh, look, Monokuma Cheers. colors, black and white. For ultimate despair. This looks like ultimate despair. I thought you're supposed to take each one of the same color. That's what I'm doing too, but Tofu over there is trying to screw me over. We kept doing that, but at the end they're not... Let's they're not even. More yeah. Okay, it's definitely skunk. No, oh, it's skunk and coconut. What kind of a weird combo is this? Okay, one is 
sour milk, but super faint. So lucky I got. Not Fuck, good, you like got the right combo because the licorice will take over. This is like sweet poop. Ah, uh, and skunk. <laughs> Like at some points, this actually tastes good for just a split second. Oh. oh, this one started off weak, but it's getting worse in my mouth. I'm going beans as I can't sustain the rum long term. And look what happened to Skinner with hot sauce. Yeah, I'm not doing hot food. I okay. will throw up. Uh, not gonna happen. This wasn't as bad. It was kind of a weird coconut. <laughs> This is disgusting. I guess this would be bad coconut. Interesting, not tasty. If your coconut ever tastes like what I just had in my mouth, <laughs> spit it out. Not too bad of a combo. Like I would prefer it than having the two bad ones separate. Oh. Gonna go with beans as I can't sustain the rum long term. Yeah, that is... Fair enough, like you have 10 shots and... nope. Like you can have at least 30 beans before you start puking. Remember Maybe the shots 20. during Heart of a Boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, but we're weak. Ben can drink a bit more than yeah, us. Yeah, but that's why we also took weaker liquor. <sighs> <laughs> Hot sauce party! <laughs> The aftertaste is not as bad though. It's more a weird coconut. <laughs> Thank you, DK. Thank you for the gift subs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you so much. Oh. 30 beans sounds like another challenge. Uh, yeah, Ranger did 30, no? <laughs> Ranger did 30 yesterday. Uh, I think he died. Close. It would have been 32 if Evie hadn't been so amazing and like, <laughs> you may live, peasant. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if he's going to continue with the beans or not because... This is where decree motion for... Because like, he definitely got traumatized you may live. yesterday. Oh, uh. This coconut's really weird. But my mind is hinting towards coconut. At least he tried it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. 30 is rough. Also, if your wife really loves hot sauce, I guess you should give her the spiciest. You were gonna go with like different bottles, no? Like from stronger... Or weaker to stronger. Because then you just start at weak and she can get the super spicy one. Imagine if every single peach was actually buff. Oh, I've only had peach like two or three times, I believe. Definitely more buff than peach. Yeah. The peach is actually the best one in the lot. Like, I wouldn't buy a bag of only good candies because when it comes to actual candy, I don't think it's that good. But the peach is really nice. I think um, in a bean boozled, the best one you can get, or the best one I can get, is licorice. Because that is hmm. so overpowering, it just <laughs> cleanses you. In bean boozled, yeah. But peach is also very overpowering. It's like a yoga retreat in your mouth. I believe peach, licorice, and the pear ones are strongest in flavor. Going with weakest to strongest, the more people donate, the hotter the sauce. I'll oh, that the is price a... per sauce soon. That is a good idea, actually. That's a businessman thinking. Yeah. Not bad. When was the stream planned again? Not until June or July, right? I don't have the date in my head again. In July. July, okay. Let us know I'm when so it's coming up so that we can do extra shout outs. Just start strong, you'll be able to just drink the weakest. Benjima, um, to get back at Skinner for this, uh, you might want to quickly check your emails. Because we changed them around. You might mm -hmm. find something fitting in there now for situations such as this one. <laughs> in the meantime, how about we continue while yeah, we both... I already did that. 
savor this absolutely amazing taste thanks to DK. Yeah, I'm okay with the aftertaste. Seeing Toko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <laughs> hey, I wanted to talk to you. Oh, we're getting more Toko story. Huh? That's strange. Toko never wants to talk to me. I thought she hated my guts. Are you listening to me? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm listening. I just wanted to clear something up. I mean, I had to clear it up. What I said before, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? Huh? What did you say? About not having any love in real life? I don't want you to thinking I d d don't have any experience at all. Even someone like me has g g g gone on a date. Probably got killed. Oh. It's true. I'm not lying. I'll tell you all about it if you really want to hear. Um, no, it's okay. And it was in junior. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> and out of nowhere, this guy from another class just asked me out. Hold up, how, how do you have, have six, six emotes? emotes? Huh? We only have five in the tier one. There's only five. We have, we have more than six, yes, but there's only five in tier one. Yep. Yeah, five in tier one, uh, two because of tier two and three, and then 1k, 5k, and 10k bits. Oh, oh no, let me click it. Okay. okay, probably the bit emotes that of our tier two and three. We'll probably swap them up every X months or so. Yeah, we'll rotate them occasionally so that everyone can use ones by one. The no you ones, maybe one day we'll redo. But for now, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, every <laughs> eggs month. It's her accent. You could just not hardly tell. <laughs> I have Skin an accent? Skinner? What? Oi. <laughs> no, you. <yeah. laughs> Where's my water? You drank it all, actually. <laughs> so, actually. Actually. Exactly. Look at Skinner being all on the pun game. <laughs> I know, right? They're the best puns. Infidel. <laughs> Infidel. I did that. You clicked out of the game. Okay, guess I'm hearing it anyway. <laughs> he asked me to make plans for the, the date. Where's that facepalm emoji though? We don't have the facepalm one. We have a what the fuck one. But we do have a what the fuck. Oh wait, why do we have that one in tier 3? Because people voted. Oh, yeah. And that was one of the least votes, so it got moved to tier 3. Maybe at some point we should just make some emotes and throw them in that BTTV thing. Then technically you have more of your own emotes as well. Like you could do that. We're just very bad at emotes. <laughs> that is true, but I'm pretty sure once they see my ugly muck in there they go, nope. Yeah. Can't upload this. Have you seen those no you emotes? Yeah, they are delicious. I love them. This is how democracy works. Everyone can't be. <laughs> We will make everyone happy. This is our mission. Could definitely try to make like a face palm emote. I think wow. that should be you though. Yes. I don't really face palm. It has at to all. be me. It has to <laughs> There's be only me. one outcome for this. I stayed up all night for three days planning it, and what I c c came up with was it was our first day, so I wanted to do something traditional. I decided on going to see something. What was it? Are you st stupid? When you're talking tr traditional date stuff, what do you t think it was? I honestly wouldn't have a clue. Movie? I have no clue either, actually. Actually, see something. You would definitely go watch a movie, I would on say. On a traditional date, you go to see something. What else could oh, it be? But go for a movie. She doesn't seem like the shopper type. You plan to go see a movie? Yeah, it's pr pretty cool, right? You go watch it, then afterwards talk about it all passionately. In other words, it's ideal first date material. 
easy fix make everyone unhappy yes you know we try to make everyone happy but in the process make everyone unhappy so i think we still win this democracy <laughs> i think we do that most of our streams already so yeah like we gotta even it up a tiny bit you could be partner with eggs amount of emotes and they still wouldn't be enough yeah <laughs> I really wish there would be a tiny step before you become partner, like that you can maybe have like 20 emotes. It's, oh no, actually partners start with 25, it would 10 be, emotes. It would be great if it just kept unlocking more emotes, but I guess you have to mm. get something to differentiate between partners and affiliates. Yeah, I guess, but it seems like the leap is very high. Yeah. That's why you gotta aim for it. Not like we would get any emotes so fast. It took us like, what, a few months to even fill it up? <laughs> You stayed up for three days and that's what you came up with? <laughs> Did you say that out loud? No, I was thinking that. Okay. Next, I had to d d decide what to go see. Since we were in j junior uh, high, I we couldn't see some kids movie, right? I wanted something really action-packed. Yeah, a guy would definitely like that kind of thing. And it could get you both pumped up. So we just decided to check a Seijun Suzuki t triple feature. A triple? Oh my God. Tokyo Drifter fighting a, fighting allergy? Allergy. Allergy. And branded to kill. Ir irresistible for any g g guy, right? That seems like um, all day in the cinema. And those are all... Y you don't know who Seijun Suzuki is? He's world famous for his one-of-a-kind aesthetic, his unique blending of color. Sorry. Wait, partners only get six emote slots at base, really? Maybe they then can do exactly what we just discussed would be nice for affiliates, which is to just unlock more as they keep growing a bigger... Yeah, I kind of thought you start with like 25 at partner and then keep unlocking it. But okay, six mm. is, I guess, fair enough. Makes sense. <laughs> it's more than you have now, so... <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I don't think a partner... They get 765 sub points. Okay, so they. Okay. Yeah. It's basically the same thing as with affiliates, but it just keeps going up. Yep. Didn't I already do that? No. Oh. The k killer's the main character, and he gets riled up by the s smell of cooking rice. A murder masterpiece. Honestly, I think there's probably not a lot of guys my age who have any idea who he is. <laughs> You're right, I learned that fact the hard way. He must have hated it because he disappeared right into the middle of the first movie. What? He just left? And after you'd put all that effort into planning everything out? That's awful. Well, it is what it is. Besides, I found it was just a d d dare anyway. A dare? That's probably how her killing instinct came out. Yeah, he lost a bet with his friend, so he had to go and out on a d d date with me. That's some fucked up shit, and I hate that when kids actually do that. Yeah, don't mess around like don't, that. Don't fuck with someone's feelings. And the, there I was, suspending three days to come up with something for us to d do. This is all your fault. You made me remember that terrible trauma. My fault? D do you like humiliating me that much? Is this that how you get your kicks? I've finally seen the real you. And we're back to hating us again. No, I... I c can't be around you and your perverted fetish anymore. Yep, I'm leaving. Eyes burning with hatred, Toko glared at me before stomping off. Okay, seriously, I... now she's gotta hate me. Skill points increased. We didn't unlock a story with everyone yet, I believe. Uh, I don't think we have, no. I parted ways with Toko and went back to my room. Um, I think Groundhog requested Biaquia now. Yes. Let's go to Biaquia. Mm, I feel even worse when I did this morning. My body feels like lead and I'm getting chills. Oh. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. This is new. Time to spread the joy. <laughs> Don't do this yourself. Who gifted us up? I am quite sure that DK hit you. It was. I can tell you because... Yeah, it is DK time. because oh, yeah. uh, Benjima did an almost up. DK hit you with a gift sub. Yes. D underscore K6. Feeding the now awake baby. 
Say hi to baby. Happy baby feeding. How's the movie coming along? <laughs> and lurk. <laughs> Thank you for the Thank lurk. you for the lurk again. I had time for me to hit live. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Peace out. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I hope you have an amazing Thank stream. Thank you so much. Here. Don't die. Oh no, wait. Sauce was sauce. Hot sauce, sauce, sauce was tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna see you die yet. Have an awesome stream. So great. <laughs> I hear that uh, the Zack Snyder cut is dramatically better than the theatrical release, so hmm. glad you're enjoying it. find it hilarious that this isn't the first time I've seen someone joke about infecting the Aquia. He can fuck off. <laughs> I think everyone wants him to die of a fever in this case. I don't want him to die, I want him to not be an asshole. No, I wouldn't mind having him out of this game. Which unfortunately means he needs to die, but... <laughs> yes. Uh, what do I want to go? Food. I'm still gonna stay with... Him not being an asshole? Impossible. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it. And this dude is supposed to like rule the world later when he's older. Hope he doesn't. I mean, he's acting nicer after the previous trial. He's actually working with everyone. Yeah, but it's the way he does. I like... wouldn't say nicer. I understand what you mean. Yes, what he's, what he is achieving is nicer, but I don't think anyone gets that because of the way he goes about doing it. Mm. Sometimes... <clears throat> More cooperative, yeah, I would say that, but... I have learned that sometimes how you do something is more important than that you're doing it. Mm. At least in the eyes of some people. That is true. But true, we haven't had his story yet, so we should talk to him a bit more. Scurrying around again, huh? Looking at you makes me physically ill. It's mm, nice. And that's why. <laughs> hmm, should I talk to him for a while? Yes. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. I think last time we just didn't do anything. Yes. Definitely. Need the items? Yes, yes please. please. That would be great. I forgot what he wants. Probably not birdseed. Thank you very much. The coffee. I think we have that. Um, we also have royal curry, I believe. And hope speak ring. Or did... Oh wait, we gave him the ring last time. But I think I saw curry. It would be so nice if you could just skip several items at I once. I wonder who wants the hands, bro. I'm guessing it was for Hifumi. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fine, I'll take it. Get the impression that you liked it. Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Togami name. Huh? Is this a monologue or something? There we go. But I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Togami Corporation reaches across the world. True, but I will take us to even greater heights. Aliens? It is expected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. Thanks for the lurk. Thank you for the lurk. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I've fought and won. Battles. I am personally worth... <laughs> wolf. I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from the Togami family assets. Imagine having How four billion dollars. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words. The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends, all within a single day. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of his technique, day trading. So he buys and sells stuff on the stock market, doing everything in a single day. Trading cards. I think that's called trading cards. <laughs> you talk about day trading, right? And you're able to make four billion dollars doing that? No, that would be nice. Yes. Well, first I started doing it just to keep myself occupied and before I knew it, there it was. It's really not a big deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. <laughs> Have you heard of GameStop? <laughs> yeah. 
Wait, but are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? I'm Byakuya Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern day nobility. You know, Byakuya, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. Oh, You're I'm... my best buddy now. Yeah. <laughs> Have you considered putting me in your will? <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. You got four billion, why continue? Jeez, do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? Hmm. Of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart, galaxies apart. Yeah, the hand brawl has to be for Hifumi, because he's the only one I could think of, but... In a way, it would also be weird. Oh, it's not Hifumi. Wait. Junko? Oh, because oh. it's a fashion thing. I get it. Fair I would have thought Hifumi too, though. Because... Did we even yeah. have free time before Junko I... got killed? Did I think once. Gone? Yeah? Yeah? I think once. Yeah. Okay. I thought that came after. Because items also came later. Being able to gift a gift. Mm -hmm. You had two opportunities, yeah. Well, uh, and ruined once again. Still reeling from Byakuya's story, I went back to my room. Just gotta hold on to the hand for us. Let's be sick by ourselves. Ah, uh, I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. Did someone poison us? Can't help it. I need sleep. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped into my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head even hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say, I hate feeling like that. We getting sick. I was restless. Uh, um, at some point I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under understand. That voice. It sounded like you. It's so familiar. Ah, it's... Understand. It's me. I understand. Gee, I wonder if I understand. <laughs> understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. I am huh? fucking calling it. This is one of the people that we're in here with. Impersonating others. Do you really think this is a fever dream and not just someone like trying to like psychologically push you into that corner where you just accept this? Mm, yeah. What am I trying to say? This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. I'm still not so sure. My dream just now. What? So strange. Huh? Is he sleeping in his clothing like that? Okay. Shit just got real. I'm guessing that's number 16. Well, it's not Toko because he has bigger hands. Where's the pants? Are you deaf? It's voiced. Yeah, but he did less. Kyoko? What the... What did 
did you? What did you say? Okay, so this was the three day later flashback probably. Every day is peaceful, every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days, days of boredom, repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. But wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> it would be nice. It would Must be, be nice. nice to get DMCA for singing Hamilton songs. <laughs> ding dong, bing bong. Gee, I wonder if it's morning now. I yeah. like boring. Good. Boring is okay. Boring is good. It would be nice to not be sick. And when everything not is get perfect, killed in our sleep. perfection is non existing anymore. I understand what you mean, but imagine I'd having be the bored. perfect bean. Nothing to strive forward, nothing to gain. No, There's a stop lot making of... loud sounds. Mm. I was thinking them into perfect beans. Took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Uh, I got a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. It all disappeared in the night. Hmm. All that was okay. left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I had caught either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. Scrambled to grab onto fragments of a dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I, I heard a voice, I didn't really understand. And then... Which reminds me, why does this guy keep sleeping with his door open? Why not? All of a sudden I was awake. There was a strange person standing next to my bed, wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. Is that thing on the forehead? Is that just me or does it look like the left eye of Monokuma? Hmm. You know the red one? On the yeah, back I see what, the you're, what you mean. They were holding a knife. I want to say I fought him off, but I don't actually remember. First check where the knife is. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go to black again. The next thing I remember... Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? Well, she doesn't have a room of her own. What kind of strange dream? No. Was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Yeah, so far it does seem like he had some kind of drugs. Uh, I think it's drugs too because for catching a cold or fever or like a flu or something, uh, this seemed way too fast. But that also means that someone must have drugged us. Yes. I take it you saving means you want to call it. We have to look at the time. Oh shit, it's almost 11. Yes. Yeah, we do have to. We do slowly need to head towards the end of our stream because we need to go to sleep. Uh, work tomorrow. I dissociate sometimes, it's the worst. Sorry to hear that. I never had that kind of experience. I have. Uh, usually I have, uh, I've had it once or twice when I had a really bad fever. That's when I also start having like visual hallucinations. Like as a kid once I had a fever of like 
mm-hmm. almost 42 degrees Celsius. Uh, don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but very high. Basically, I should have been brought to hospital, but you know. Uh, I saw pink elephants in the room. They looked really cute. They were like mm. waist high and very round. Who attacked you? That is a good question. Well, the only thing that would really make sense now would be the 16 student. But in a way that also seems... Yeah, I don't know, actually. I would say the 16 student. I think so too, since they have just been brought up, or she has just been brought up. I imagine this will be her introduction. I'm just guessing. It seems like a good time to do that, yeah. The stream just ended. Sorry, Shrev. First of all, <laughs> hello. Happy Tuesday. I hope your week has been going great so far. Yes. Uh, I took a free nap and I missed the whole thing. No. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's Sorry. already quite late here and we have work tomorrow yeah. morning. Unless it's our Friday or Saturday stream, we have to really make sure that we keep it down to like three and a half, four ish hours at the very, very most. Because we have to go to bed, you know, and be ready to work again the next day. Yep. It's... I in... work really bad with very little sleep. <laughs> Getting close to 11 p.m. for us. <laughs> I don't want to make you step any longer than you should. Have a nice night. Don't worry. Don't we worry. We always have like this anything. little chatting yep. thing at the end before we actually close off. Yes, we'll still be here for a minute, but... <laughs> but thank you. You can no. always check out the VOD or come back tomorrow because we will be continuing Dang and Romba. I can't wait like one more month and then we have a three week vacation which yes. we can spend two weeks completely fucking up our sleep schedule. So, a seven and then day, one, 24 hour stream? Yeah, and then one week paying the price for it. Then have one week to unscrew our sleep schedule, yes. I'm gonna need a quick rundown of the stream. We finished the epilogue of chapter four. Yep. No one died yet. No one died yet. Um, we have learned that there is a hidden 16th student. Again, we have been told. <laughs> yes, sorry. Groundhog basically has it boiled down. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we learned about this person. Several times. A lot of times. Many times. And we just got to the part where Makoto had a fever dream slash weird experience. We are assuming he's been drugged. Seemed uh, to be the case. Where the person wearing a mask and with a knife apparently tried to kill us. Yeah, I'm guessing that person now got killed by Kyoko because why would Kyoko also be in the room? And we already saw like this flashback, not a flashback, this forward leap where that person was oh, dead. Oh, like the 16th student attacked us while sleeping when Kyoko came in because that's just what she does, found them, killed them, and now we're gonna find out that Kyoko is the blackened because she killed a student and then she has to die now. I'm guessing that's where they're gonna go, but that would also be way too easy right now. Why? This sounds like some Game of Thrones bullshit. Yeah, I'm not sure it seems easy. You're gonna love the ending. I am... Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, because I have no clue how they're gonna end this at the moment. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine an ending. Like, sometimes you just watch something and you think, okay, they're gonna do this and that, but I can't really imagine anything right now. I honestly wonder if we're gonna get out of this alive, and by we, I mean Makoto. It could be that no one is gonna get out alive. Like, I it don't make think sense. So. No, I... It's gonna be beautiful. I don't think so. But we will see. I'm looking forward to it. And we are gonna get there, because yes. we're close to the ending, I would say. And once you know, you will see hints that you have missed. I love that. I love, it's like when you go back and it's like, fuck. I love watching movies, I love listening to songs, I love playing games, where after you have gotten to a certain point, like the realization kicks in and then you go, oh fuck, it was so obvious. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst. Yeah. Especially if a foreshadowing is well done. 
Yeah. Well, they've already shown that they are quite good at dropping little hints that you don't really notice. Also, super obvious ones, but... I, mean, I think like when... I'm just gonna go with everyone dies at the end. You mean like when I appear to have been wrong when I was saying I was assuming that one of the uh, thought to be dead students was working with Monokuma because of her wording? Mm. Yeah. And then it turns out to be Sakura. That's part of why it's so fun watching other people play it. You notice more every time. Hmm. Yeah, I can imagine. It's like a Disney movie. Like you start to see the little eggs. The Easter they eggs. Planned. Yeah. But you don't plant eggs, that's a Dutch thing, I guess. No, I don't think so. Wow. I don't Planting think that's a Dutch eggs thing either. And I do that. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say here. I'm not quite sure. I'm wrong. Yes, you do. I'm just saying. Baby, I adore you. No, you. <laughs> How about we go raid someone? Mm, that sounds like a good plan. When are you playing more? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Basically, at the moment, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday are our Danganronpa yeah. streams. Then Saturday, we have like our community stream. Mario Kart, Smash Brothers. Exactly, and Sunday, we usually do like Dark Souls or something. Yes, Dark Souls Sundays. So Basically. far, we're sticking to that schedule. Yeah, plus, um, I'm pretty sure that if... <laughs> Get ready for more Mokuro Ikusaba. <laughs> The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. One they call ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Plus, I'm pretty sure if we were to be any slower at Dang and Ronpa, um, Evie would non stop send us hate mail. <laughs> no. Fuck you, I don't care if you're working, play Dang and Ronpa. No, I'm quite sure after like the first week of playing, Evie got used to our tempo. <laughs> We only got better. I think it's less uh, getting used to the tempo and more uh, realizing that we're not gonna get much faster. <laughs> yeah, that's probably yeah. the ultimate despair. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm having fun with it. Also, we have a few people on, but if any of you guys wanna throw in a suggestion for a raid, bring it. Do eat. And otherwise you can pick. Now I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna give you a hot minute while I chill to this song. I'm guessing next stream we'll find out who died. It Actually having the... We already know who died, it was the guy, girl with a mask. Yeah, but having him die already is also stupid. Like that's way too fast. We only just learned about her, by the way. Her? Yeah. I don't know, we have like this five chapter build up. Yeah. Just to have her die immediately. Yeah, I would do that. I would introduce a character last moment and then immediately kill them off. Mm. Just to throw you off. I because guess. you imagine, oh my god, they've been hidden for the entire game so far. There must be some real big reason for that. <laughs> so she, she must be part of this, like somehow. She must be behind of this. Like, nope. Mm. Fuck you. Yeah, I guess that's just also some true. Sure. <laughs> but I'm that. really hoping we're gonna keep Kyoko at least, because I don't want to be stuck with the rest. Mm. I have a feeling we're going to be, but I don't want to. Alright, great time. No rate chance. suggestions. Any then suggestions? You may pick. Three, two, two and a half. Go scroll through the list and pick someone. I'm gonna pick Skinner because he is playing Hold On To Your Butts, Chameleon Twist 2. Ooh, what's if that? You've, it's my fucking childhood. <laughs> if you don't know Skinner, you should. Uh, if you've never heard of Chameleon Twist, you have to watch this. No, okay. Well, I guess we're not skipping it. It's an old school game. It's an N64 game, the sequel to Chameleon Twist, <gasps> also on the N64. No. Which is... Hype. Watch it for yourself, I love it. <laughs> so, let me press this button. Ranger, Ben, DK, if you're all still here, thank you so much for the subs. Also, why is the 
The Rangers are command broken. I need to fix this. It's not broken. Sorry about that. Yes, it is less hypes now. Oh yeah, the last it's line. It's lacking a whole line. The last line is shorter. You're right. Yes, I will fix that momentarily after we start with this. No rate. clue why that's the case. And have an awesome Tuesday, everyone. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. And no stream dance. So I gotta watch. Hydrate. Enjoy your water. Cheers. Thank you all so I'll much. Have too. Tifa, you need to start dancing. We'll be gone in a second. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.